Okay, come on and share this out, y'all. I'm on Twitter too. All right, I'm on. I'm on Twitter. Please do me a favor. Let's tweet this out. I'm kind of tired. Um, I'm trying to get my second win. So, yo, Sabias, I show some of Haitian buddies that the plaque that they would show stunned really yo man that's good but i want y'all to share this out fam y'all can join me too i'm kind of i'm kind of like drained man this heat is a mother boy out here man so maybe y'all can pick me up maybe y'all can pick me up man but um join the feed um shout out to my sister k you know what she just told me I, did everybody see the video when I was at the master day? Raise your hand. If not, you have to wait for the video. You literally have to wait for the video. Straight up. Um, you ever hear, y'all hear Gilly? Did y'all see the video first? Did everybody see the video? Please, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, y'all. Come on. Come on. Holler if you hear me. Tweet this out. Share this out to everybody's platform, right? I'm on here, Instagram. I'm on Twitter, right here. Real Severe Bay on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay, so I'm multitasking, B. If you just you just getting up, probably eating your bacon, egg, and cheese, or you want to be woke conscious breakfast. Um, share this out. So did everybody see the video when I was in the mosque today? I'm kind of tired, y'all, so come on. I'm, I'm going to get my second win in a second. I'm going to get my second win and go back out. I was out since, like, 9 o'clock this morning. Did y'all see it? Everybody see it? Come on. It's Friday. You ain't got nothing else to do. Most of y'all can go to the strip club. If you want Atlanta, niggas are going to be at the strip club making the mother freaking rain. Make it rain. Did y'all see it? It was five in the morning. A, B. You don't sleep, fam. I went to sleep about four o'clock and woke back up at nine o'clock. Four o'clock in the morning, woke back up at five o'clock because I had to get out. So if you didn't get it, I recorded a lot. My sister said to me today that you are giving people a million dollars worth of game. You ever hear Gilly say that? The million dollar worth of game? I don't know what million dollar worth of game they're giving, but I'm giving a million. She said, You are, where's she at? Am I lying, sister? She's on the feet. I'm going to let y'all see that. Am I lying, sis? I ain't got to say. She's on here. We was walking today. And she said, yo, you give people a million dollars worth of game, not YouTube research, not Google research, literally boots on the ground. I'm not against nobody. I'm not against no one. I'm against liars. Liars. That's not producing nothing. So don't ever get it twisted and put it out there and talk about I'm against somebody. I'm not against anybody. I just don't like liars. Misleading people. And this is what she said. This is what she's saying right there. Right? Bear with me what she said. She said, you were given a million dollars worth of game, right? Then she goes on. She said, what? They should be paying for it. I was using my data. Listen to me. I was using my data to do some work. Not what these cats do on social media. Not this white supremacy conversation. I'm not on no low vibration. Get the hell off my feet if you think I'm on a low vibration. Right now I am. Get off my feet. Get on my feet. Let me put my link up here for you. 
just in case you want to talk to me for a second, don't assume anything about Sabir Bay. Please don't assume anything about me. Please. If you don't see the what he's doing to our people, you got a problem. You do. So I'm going to put my link up here so you can join me for a second. And then you can talk to me. I was walking all this morning. So my link is right here if you want to come on here. Give me one second. My link is right there. Y'all got a problem because you call people out on their bullshit, but I'm going to let you hear it yourself. Don't ever think I have something against these people. Y'all just scared to question them. So my link is right there. You, my brother Matt said people are full of... Exactly, Matt. They are full of bull. Let these men speak for themselves. I'll bring them men on his feed. I'll bring Umar Johnson on his feed. People, I'm Listen, I'm in media. Umar Johnson should not be doing commentary. He's supposed to be a teacher, right? Teach. Stop trying to be a commentary because I'm a teacher too. Okay? So, like my sister said, I'm giving a million dollars worth of gain. I'm actually on the ground. Boots on the ground. Damn, my brother, I wish I could help. We all catching hell. I, exactly, and this is what it is. We are catching hell. And let me tell you why. It all started in Spain, people. Let me help y'all out. It all started right here. It's not about the complexion of the people. It's not the complexion of the individual. It's that they have the knowledge of who we are, and our people are not telling our people this. The so-called black, I'll sit with any of these so-called black conscious people. Set it up. Set it up. Because if you understood the history about what took place in 1492 out here in Spain, in 1492, out here in Spain, in Fort, like Umar says it three times, in 1492, out here in Spain, you will understand world history. Are you following me? If you confuse, y'all can come on the feed. Yes, set the clean glass up and set the dirty glass. So I met a, a guy, an older guy. He was from Dubai. I believe it was Dubai. And he told a story. I was at this statue today. He said, people in, Amer in the United States, I swear to God, and I told my sister, <clears throat> my sister Karen can bear witness to what I'm saying to you. Karen was sitting there. And I told Karen this story way before I met this guy she was talking to. She said, people in the United States don't only go to the Caribbean. They don't go outside. And if they go, they go to Egypt. Am I lying? Or Ghana. Am I lying? Now, this is a guy from, I think it's from Saudi Arabia or Dubai, but he lives in Dallas. So, he said the only places that people go to the United States is United is the Caribbean. It's nothing wrong with it. But if you're looking for real history, you got to go beyond that. You got to go beyond slavery. And that's what I do. If you mad at me because of that, then I don't care. I can tell you what took place. I don't mind, you know, you saying what we were going through. I got that. But if you're not going to mix up the history of the Moors, of the Moors, of the you African-American you black man, then you got you misleading people. I'm fine if you call yourself black. I'm good, but I know that's not a race of people. It's not a race of people. Atlas, what's going on? So when my sister said that I'm giving people a million dollars worth of gain, that's what I was doing. For the past two weeks, I've been getting up from Toledo to Morocco to Tunis to no, where was that? Toledo, Granada, Malacca over to Morocco. These are hours and hours from bus riding, not in one city, from bus riding to cabs to trains for hours. This is the work, B. Are you following me? This is crazy. And I'm telling you, man, I'm seeing it and you can't get mad because I'm calling them out. Don't speak for any of them. Let them speak for themselves. If you knew the amount of money it's more money went out than I was getting in. Are you following me? You do the math on that. So let's go. Are y'all ready? Share it out. Did y'all see when I was in the mosque? Please go. If you can probably watch a piece of it on my Instagram. Beautiful. But I'm going to show y'all something before we start, okay? I'm going to show y'all something. 
we're gonna show y'all just a little bit okay i'm gonna do instagram and face twitter first niggas will tell you it's europe and the white man none of this stuff is the white man That's the most detail. That's the mosque. That I was in today, I was in quite a few times before. This is a million dollar book of game, baby. Be with me. I'm gonna show y'all on YouTube. So get mad at me. Don't get mad at me, Jew. Do your get these cats on these platforms. Let's get it popping. Let's get this thing popping. Let's show y'all again on YouTube. That's the Mosquito. Built by Abdul Rahman the first, and the other part was built by Abdul Rahman the second, his son. Okay? I don't have to show y'all any of this. This is what my sister said about the million dollars worth of game. I'm not over here chilling on vacation. I need it. I need a vacation. So, and I also need help doing what I'm doing because it's not free. So don't worry about my, the, give me one second. Don't worry about the added, don't worry about the attitude of the way I'm saying it. I'm not calling y'all out your names. I'm not calling you a coon. I'm not calling you a mother freaker. I'm not calling you an agent. I'm not calling you none of those things. None of those things. Mm -mm. I don't do stuff like that. Okay? I don't do stuff like that. But some reason, people in the States is so effed up, boy. Whew. You kill your own, B. I met Umar Johnson. He ain't about that life. I know he ain't about that life, brother. I already know he's not. But we're going to have some fun. So let's go. And I'm going to, if I can, I'm asking y'all permission. Can I play 15 minutes of a video that he did? Because I'm going to mix up my little trip inside the mosque today. But can I, I'm asking y'all permission. Can I play 15 minutes of what Umar Johnson said? And we're going to dissect that. This is how you critique something. You got to play somebody's video to critique it. That's how you critique somebody. Okay, can I do that on Instagram? Can I can I play 15 minutes of Umar Johnson? And I hope y'all share this to Umar Johnson. And if Umar Johnson comes on, I definitely will bring him on the feed. Or y'all follow me. I have nothing but love for my brother, but I'll bring him on the feed. I'll give him a whole hour with me, and I'm overseas a whole hour. I ain't got. I'm not calling him no coon, no agent, no nothing. It ain't nothing but love, baby. It ain't nothing but love. I don't know if he can hang for 15 minutes. If Umar Johnson, I don't even know. You better be suited and booted with me. So, brother Zai, I hope you share this over to him. Um, so we're gonna have some fun. Okay. So, so hey, listen, I need y'all to support. I need y'all to hit the like buttons. I want y'all to hit the share buttons. Please hit the likes, the shares, and the support. Okay. Let's go. Come on, pick up the phone. I ain't picking nobody's phone up. I'm overseas. Get on my live. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm ready Let's to go. go. What about y'all? Y'all ready to go? Hit the yeah, link and come on. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Look, know thyself and thou shalt know the universe and God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Know thyself and thou shalt know the universe and God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Know thyself and thou shalt and God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God is the mother, the father, the friend. No, ye not that ye must be born again. What does it mean to be in the world but not of it? It means you want the cause, the cash, you choose the house, but you don't love it. It means the taxes, regulations, state law, you live above it. It means you are free and papa. You ain't nobody's puppet. You don't see no money on me, you see it up in the cupboard. You see me up in Toys R Us with my seed because they love it. You see insurance flash out if my kids pass out. You see seven acres of land where we can all spaz out. To all my fathers and father, hold your head up for starters. Teach your toddlers not to be thieves and robbers. There's that other kind of rap that leads to true hip hop. There's other kinds of raps, but they lead you to get shot. The choice is yours, you're getting older now. 
got a kid coming. How you gonna hold it down? It's one thing to be iced out and rocked up. What's the point if you're getting locked up? Know thyself and thou shalt know the universe and God. Know thyself and thou shalt know the universe and God. Know thyself and thou shalt know the universe and God. God is the mother, the father, the friend. Know ye not that he must be born again? It's really time we separate the young men from the big men, the young girls from the women, whatever the title is. Child's mind when I spit them. I only got a little bit of time to really rhyme and uplift them. You see them brothers talking about that crime, forgive them. It won't be long before they words manifest and they live them. Sometimes you gotta go back to the beginning to learn. After 15 years, you see them brothers talking about that crime, forgive them. It won't be long before they words manifest and they live them. Sometimes you gotta go back to the beginning to learn. After 15 years, I'm just forgetting to burn. To all my true hip hoppers to pay bills and live proper. Never allow a negative thought to stop you. Correct your posture. Stand upright, not uptight. Don't be scared of the light. Just prepare for the fight. We say criminal minded because our thoughts are illegal. We represent the very thinking of inner city people. Real people. People that take care of themselves. They need health, love, awareness, and wealth. Not what I meant. Correct your posture. Stand upright, not uptight. Don't What's be scared up? of the light. Just prepare for the fight. We say criminal minded because our thoughts are illegal. We represent the very thinking of inner city people, real people, people that take care of themselves. They need health, love, awareness, and wealth. Not to mention knowledge of God, not college, the job, the dead. If you agree, nod your head. It's one thing to be iced out and rocked up. But what's the point if you're getting locked up? Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God. Thou shalt know the universe and God. Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God. God is the mother, the father, the friend. Know ye not that ye must be born again? Come on, come on, yo. Tonight is it. We're gonna steal away together through these rhymes I spit. When the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. So I'm here. But are you really ready to face your fears? More money, more money. Tonight is it. Gonna steal away together. Let's do these rhymes I spit. When the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. So I'm here. But are you really ready to face your fears? More money, more money. Is that your credo? You've been living in a dream world, Neo. Power to the people. Nobody's equal. Everybody's diverse and different. My lyric will never cheat you. My verse is gifted. So manifest what you believe is God Almighty. It could be Allah, Jesus, Krishna, Buddha, Aphrodite. It could be never Terry. Come hear me. You never fear me. It's like at some point in your life, you're gonna have to hear me. I represent the teachers, preachers coming through your speaker, manifesting another lesson to them true believers. Instead of picking up our women, ready to mistreat them. You better get yourself a wife and kid and never leave them. You better teach them, you better read them, you better feed them. The system will defeat them. If you don't teach them, the cops will beat them. That's all that I be kicking quick is edutainment. If my culture needed a teacher, quick, so I became it. Instead of rhyming about my history and what I've been through, I'd rather rhyme about awakening the God within you. Yo, it's one thing to be iced out and rocked up, but what's the point if you're getting locked up? Know thyself and thou Come shalt on, y'all. It's open for y'all. The universe and God. Know thyself and thou shalt know the universe and God. Know thyself and thou shalt know the universe and God. God is the mother, the father, the friend. Know ye not that ye must be born again? Come on my feet, come on my feet, sis. You ain't gotta type. Nobody got to type. God. You know the funny part? I wish Pamela would come on here. Why don't you try reading this fundamental, my sister? How about trying to read? Face your fears, B. Don't speak for Umar and anybody else. Go share this to Umar Johnson. My brother Za already did. Listen to me again. I have nothing against him, but people send me these videos. Okay? Come on the feed. Just click the link. You ain't got to talk about it. 
be about it b you ain't got to talk about it be about it let's put the link up here one more again so everything happened people after 1492 listen i'm great block you if you ain't gonna come on my feet i'm definitely gonna block you i'm dead serious i will block you keep talking i'm gonna show you how people eagles are on my feed she said i want to debate you how about this part hit my cash app up dollar sign severe bay you can give me a thousand send me 500 i'll do you for an hour for a thousand dollars how about that part hit my cash app up. let me let me i want y'all to see what people do y'all think i'll be playing man i don't be calling these people out they want to debate me so bad they get a heart on man her titties probably hard or if it's a dude his penis probably hard these niggas be on some stuff with some beer man god damn whoa 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 let me put my link up here let me put my you can hit the cash app put a down payment in the cash app or zelly whatever it is okay god damn a more for real brother because i don't i don't think i could do that that heat that what that boat no the boat was an hour going over there and i did it multiple times so let's just see if pamela want to come on here she says she want to debate me now when you go on a date the person who calls you out put the money up about lying hold up and don't ever think that i'm going to run for from a thousand dollars i'll give him a thousand dollars because she said whoever this person is if you go on a date you literally are the one that's supposed to put the money up right so I didn't call you on the debate. I said, you can come on here. So, all right. So I'm going to show you how ignorant she is. She's going to stay on here how she wants attention. So this is not necessarily too much about even beating up Umar Johnson. She needs she needs the ancient black Arabs. She don't want none of that. So bear with me. I'm going to show you all something out here when I went into this museum. If you have my Instagram, Real Severe Bay on Instagram, I want to do this before I play this video. Give me one second. Like my sister said, this is a million dollar worth of game. Okay, none of these other dudes is doing exactly this. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to show you something. I I took a picture today. Bear with me. In this in this Jewish area, out here in Cordoba, Spain. Bear with me. This is so real. It says there were books are burned. There were books are burned and it ends up burning people. Mm. I want to all different languages. Now, some of y'all probably saying, what the hell does that mean? You can't even get our people to read a book. This is not in the States. This is over here. This is over here. I'm going to show y'all something else, right? This is the day. Do y'all think that's true? Y'all think this is true? Hold up, bear with me. Negroes is books are like kryptonite to niggas, boy. <laughs> books are like unless it's about slavery, unless the books are based on slavery. Remember what I told y'all? My sister said I'm giving y'all a million dollars worth of game. I'm only getting my second win because I'm going to go back out again. So if you want to support what I do, please, people, don't talk my ears off. You can hit me on my cash app and PayPal, okay, and Zelly. I'm fine coming on, and y'all talk with me. I'm okay. Stop trying to private inbox me, people, okay? Have some substance when you come on here and stay on focus with this, what I'm talking about, okay? I don't care about your craziness and none of this other stuff, people, but this is what it is. I'm doing what I can. So this was in a Jewish area today. So I'm going to show you all a couple other things. 2022 women are ready to take down truth. No doubt. Somebody said in 2022, women are ready to take down a truth. Taking a man in our what culture. Nigga, ain't nobody. None of them can take me down. None of these women. I don't give a damn what you think you are. You can't take me down. I'm damn good at what I do. They can't. That's you weak cats. I don't get on my fees talking about women all the time. 
That's not what I do. So bear with me one second. I'm going to show y'all something else. This is also in the museum in the Jewish area. How many people ever heard of this guy right here? All this is going to be in the video. Y'all, Francisco, how many people heard of this guy? This is not in the States. This is over here. It's in Spanish and in English. How many people heard of him? Who, who saw him before? Francisco. This is what my sister said. This is a million dollars worth of game, B. Hold up. Who saw him before? Come on. Now, a sort of racism do exist in this state. It really do. But you got to understand history to find out why these things are happening. Trust me, you got to study real history. And, and the problem is with these cats. He's a brother. Exactly. Oh, I could show you a whole lot of brothers out here. This is why the guy for I think he was from Dubai. He said people in the United States don't come over here. He said they go to the Caribbean or y'all go to places of slave dungeons. Negro, there's no value in knowing about my enslavement. And we were not the only people who suffered slavery. I want you to research him also. So remember what I said. This is not Google research. And I'm going to go a little further with y'all. What's up? RC, what it be, bro? I'm just getting my second wind talking to y'all. Then I'm going to go back out. I want y'all to teach your children these things to empower them. Okay? And get out of the States, man, because I'm going to keep it real. I understand people say, well, that's where we from. I'm, I'm with it too. But again, the world is too vast to suffer in one place. But I want you to research him. This is not, this is not Google research. And if you went to these places, you'll start putting the puzzles together. Everything happened in 1492, people. Everything happened in 1492. This is why the history is so crazy. Okay? It's so dope. So please look him up. So I'm going to just show y'all. Yeah, I got I got Adidas on the ground, brother. Not boots on the ground. I got Adidas on the ground. The boots will be hurting my feet. My, my feet hurting right now, RC. I'm going to keep it 100. My calves are hurting. My thighs are hurting from walking, doing all this walking. So my feet, my calves, my... <laughs> Dude, you have no idea, bro. Them motherfuckers are hurting, boy. Like, damn. Them dogs are hurting. Right? You laughing, man. I'm being 100. Them dogs hurt, boy. They got to deal with ignorant people? Because y'all scared to call these people out? Y'all scared to call them out, nigga. I'm I'm severe bay. I'm free. I'm not under nobody. I don't take sides with nobody. Wrong is wrong, right is right. Wrong is wrong, right is right. I don't yell white supremacy and got all the degrees from the white man. I don't call white supremacy and got the white man's credit cards, debit cards, cars. That's not severe based conversation. That's not what I do. So, no, oh, it's beyond an exercise. Somebody said that's a great exercise. That's why you're so healthy. Man, let me tell you, that workout like is a mother freaking. So I'm going to take y'all somewhere, okay? So I've been a lot of places. I was, trust me, I walked up the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. I've been in places in Tunis. I've been in places in Mexico. So trust me, I, I'm in Vegas, LA. So bear with me. I'm going to see if I can show you inside the mosquito i'm not going to show you everything but i'm gonna just show y'all something and i'm gonna play this 15 minutes of umar johnson's talking and we're going to get into it we're going to mix a lot of stuff up because i was in this building called the alchemist building give me one second i'm gonna show y'all what it is okay bear with me i'm gonna show y'all inside the mosquito oh let me show you this these are the two books i got today look at this sufism on negro this is the books I got. Let me zoom in. History of Day Sufio in Andalus. 
These are the two books. Ooh. And but they're in Spanish though. Both of them in Spanish. They didn't say black. It said Negro. Ooh. It didn't say black. It said Negro. So let me help y'all out. Are y'all ready? It's all in Spanish. Bear with me one second. Are y'all following me? I'm going to explain this in one second. These are the two books. But guess what? The crazy part is it speaks about the Moors too. So let me explain y'all language because it's very important. Bear with me. Language is important, people. Nigga is Latin. Nigga is Latin. Negro is Spanish. And black is English. Am I lying? Let's do this one more time. Latin is nigger. Negro is Spanish. Black is English. So I can call you a nigger in English and get away with it. Oh, you, did that make sense? Hold on. Let's go back to this one more time. Let's rewind this. Is y'all following me? Are you following me? So the reason why I get these books is so I can do like a language translation. Like, okay, how do they use these words? How do they use them? Right? So bear with me. Let me see if I can pull this up. Oh, shoot. It's on my, I think it's on my Instagram. Give me one second. There's a document called the language. Is it here? Give me one second. Oh, I didn't post that one up, but it was speaking about language. Do you know people? This is where I was at today. Bear with me. You can Google this. Black is Spanish as well. And it means nigga. Nigga is Latin. Period, right? So I want y'all to see where, where I was at so you can do your research on this. For the people who don't understand the alchemy. How many of y'all read the alchemist book? Come on, y'all. Y'all can join me. How many of y'all read the alchemist book? Alchemy. Did you know? Not yet. Oh, you don't just throw me on there like that. <laughs> Listen, sister. I'm too loud. Because I'm, I'm in a hotel room. I don't want to be too loud. Right, I, I got that. Let me put you back on mute, sister. All right. You got that part. Stay focused. There is a place called that's been around since the 8th and 12th century. The 8th and 12th century. It's called Casa de la Alchemy. I swear to God. Oh, I, I'm not even going to post the videos up. And how many of y'all knew that? Let me show y'all something. This has been around. This is a house, somebody's house back then. Casa de la Alchemy. I'm going to walk y'all through this for one second. I want y'all to understand where I'm going at with this, okay? You are the change that you want. If you ever read the Alchemy book, if you ever picked up the alchemist book you will understand the whole book is talking about looking within yourself you are the change nobody can change you but you but what i see is all these europeans coming to these countries our lands because this is ours too studying our stuff now remember what i said to you like my sister said i'm giving you a million dollar worth of game this is in the eighth to the 12th in the 12th century United States wasn't even around at the time. America, United States, you heard when I said United States was not around at the time. So bear with me. If you read the alchemy book in the book, it speaks about the Moors through the whole book. The whole book speaks about the Moors. But now, how many of y'all saw this before? Raise your hand. Let's be honest. How many saw what I just showed you just now? It's a whole lot more. You never saw that, right? But all, when I'm traveling, I'm seeing people from France, Europeans from America, all of these people, I'm going to be real with you, and they study us, take this information back to the States and teach our people that you ain't nothing but a slave. You are a slave. So everything I told you happened out here in Spain. If I'm wrong, get your scholars on here. Get them on here. Now, I'm going to take you on the inside, so bear with me one second, all right? I didn't, I'm not posting this stuff up here for a reason, because I'm I'm going to be selling pitches, too, so I'm going to be signing picks 
and I'm gonna have the pictures for sale. So bear with me one second. Cause you know, you can't put stuff up because no nigga, they ain't gonna support you, but they'll take all your stuff and somebody will sell it. So bear with me. Let me see if I can find it. This is inside of the house. This was actually a person's house in a more house in the eighth century. Look at this. This is alchemy. Yo, why could be one second? I want y'all to see this. You see that? It's more photos in here. Everything you're looking for is in you. I'm going to do a whole lecture on this with these. I'm going to do a slide presentation on all of this, B. So if you want to ho holler at me, email me at Sabir Bay Radio. No, knowledgeversus at gmail.com. I'm down for the lectures. Knowledgeversus at gmail.com. I'm going to put it up here. Sign up for the email list. I could do a whole lecture on this straight up. So bear with me. This is inside the Moore house. Remember what I told you about the eighth century? In 12, look at this. This is alchemy, people. These people study us. We don't go here and study and find out why. Bear with me. Out, they, they have classes in here. They literally was having classes still to this day on alchemy. This is insane. I got so much footage. It's crazy. It's insane. Hold up. This is in this is on the rostrum. But you think that these Europeans or these people want to teach you right? No, baby, they got to keep you away from this. Everything you're looking for is already inside you. Everything is in you. That's why I don't scream white supremacy, B. I don't play the white supremacy game because no one's inferior to Sabir Bay. I don't feel inferior to no one. And no one is superior over me but y'all got to understand what's happening this is what's going on i'm gonna get into this umar thing in one second this is the room that's karen sitting in the room this is in the little room you can have not a big ass five room school you can have a room like this and teach people this is how we were teaching you don't need all of this b you don't need this. And I'm crying out to people and niggas running and thinking I'm hating somebody. I have hate in my heart for nobody. No one. African slaves and the Arabs. No one. Because Arabs were slaves too because you are the original Arab. When I was in Morocco, they told me. They said the original ones looked like this. Don't believe me. Dissect the book. Read. It's fundamental. Okay, let's move forward. Let's go a little further. All of this. This is alchemy. You be the change. You ain't got to talk about white supremacy. Stop giving them the power. Words have power. Words have power. Bear with me. You ain't never see this before, have they? Unless they went online and saw it. So I ain't going to give you everything. So bear with me. Elixirs. These are the things that we were doing, people. And I'm watching more and more Europeans come here. Listen, more and more Europeans come here and, and go back to the States and then teach black people, oh, you didn't invent nothing because you're an African-American. You're black. You peeped the game yet? Did you peep the game? How are they playing with our people? I'm getting into this Umar Johnson in, in a minute. I'm just warming up. So as I'm in the Jewish quarters, right, Look what it says about origins, the fourth, the thirteenth, the fourteenth, and the fifteenth century. Oh, y'all getting? I'm great goaded with y'all. This is a lecture, y'all. This is damn near a lecture. Bear with me. I'm gonna show you how powerful words are. Bear with me. I'm gonna show you how powerful. This is why you never hear Sabir Bay say white supremacy. No one's inferior. I'm not inferior, and I don't think y'all inferior to anybody. I don't think you are. I should hope not. So bear with me. Is everybody all right? Are we good? So are we good before we continue? Can I get some love? Can I get some likes? Can I get some support? Can I get the love? Come on, B. 
That's why Cameron told me to cut my camera off earlier today. She said, oh, no, they let them pay for this. Because everywhere we want, we had to pay to go in there. So this says in Spanish in here, a traveling language. Did you know that there was a such thing called the traveling language? How many of y'all knew that? Are y'all... Are they teaching this in school to our children? Everything I'm doing is for our children. I don't need to talk about, I need $600,000. I'm Everything that I'm doing is going to be in film and in books for our children. That's the schooling right there. This is not Wikipedia research. Bear with me one second, okay? The traveling language. Ain't that a shut your mouth? What is a traveling language? So everything has a vibration and a frequency. If you want to make the changes, you change it by your actions, the frequencies. Stop saying things because, again, I don't think no one on this feed feels inferior to anyone. I don't. Nah. I got a lot of more. Let's bring my, see, my, see this brother one. So in the videos and in my photos, all these things are going to be available for people. All of these things. I'm just not posting them up because I know how our people are. I know how we are. And another thing I want y'all to understand, and I'm going to show y'all this because I said I wasn't, but if, if you saw my earlier video, give me one second. You saw this. Give me one second. Check this out. That was in the alchemy house. Do you remember I told y'all before we told time by the sundial? Who remembers that? Who remembers... I told y'all we told time by the sundial. Look up the sundial, but they got you black folks scared of. Watch the sundial. Fire. I want you to pay attention. And every zodiac is on here. That'd be a dope. Every zodiac is on there. This is on the wall. And you can spin it. You can spin it. And it's a story behind this, too. It's a whole story behind this, right? Bear with me. I want y'all to see it. <laughs> Knowledge of self. Know thyself. Know thyself. This zodiac is how we told time by sundials. Everything has a meaning. You know, how many people ever been to a courtroom and they ask you a question like this? What's your date of birth? Y'all probably wouldn't get it. What's your date of birth? You know why? Because they're dealing with astrology. Because they're going to judge you on the day or your zodiac. You're not getting it. They study everything. This stuff is from the 8th to the 12th century time. This is not mother freaking recent. They told time by the sun. And what they do to black people in the United States is have you afraid of zodiac. They have you afraid of sundial. Everybody everybody wakes up in the morning and or after a prayer you say amen or amen amen or amen which is the faithful son we was always astrologers the moors have always been astrologers always always been astrologers we looked up but now we're looking down the whole science of the 12 signs of the zodiac the whole science of the 12 signs of the zodiac 12 3 6 9 12 let me give this to y'all for a second this is how you educate people not talking about white supremacy white supremacy the white man this and the white man that no give them substance and this is again i keep saying this this is why the sister says severe you giving people a million dollars worth of gain but some people say y'all not worth shit i'm gonna be real with y'all some people tell me don't give it to you. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. So when I was there, I'm, I got more videos. It's going to be in a video too. And I have, and I'm going to have this for sale. So it's Arabic that's on there. This is Arabic. I'm just not posting it. But if you want a picture, I get it to you. It's Arabic, right? It's Arabic. This is from the 8th to the 9th to, to the 12th century. I just gave you the place y'all can look it up. Okay. It's Casa de la um, Alchemy. Look it up. Right. So 
how we told time and how they scared you. And they took all your science and they ran with it. The 12, 3, 6, 9. In between your 12 o'clock and your 3 o'clock is a deacon. It's a deacon, which is called a decade. From the six, from the three to the six is a deacon, which is a decade. From the six to the nine is a deacon, which is a decade. From your nine to your twelve is a deacon, which is a decade. The Pope is called what? He has a fish head. You have the deacons in the church, and they call him the what? Cardinal. The cardinal points. Those are your cardinal points that they scare you with. Are you following me yet? Because uh, I'm going to get into what I'm saying to y'all. It's very, very simple. Instead of yelling and talking about the white man this and the white man that. Uh, nah. It's another piece too. It's another picture of a, um, Idrisi also. So when you start putting this puzzle together and going to these places, not just for slavery, Europeans can't teach severe based shit, and I don't have nothing of the European. I'll do a Malcolm X and be in a room with all the Europeans. You know why? Because I'm not going to play the white supremacy game with them, because that's why they was afraid of Malcolm. When you expand your education beyond what the European taught you, you a dangerous mother freak. And that's what somebody told me. You dangerous nigga. Yes, I am. To our people and some of these Europeans. Because some of them want us to wake up. Okay? So Arabic is a language. Get your facts right, B. Arabic, or Arabs, is a language. It's a language. You better get your black scholars on here. Get your black scholars. They got time. They got time, baby. It was a language. So, and it really means like a noble person. Are you following me? So when the Moors fell in 1492, all hell broke loose, man. They ain't going to tell you nothing. They ain't going to tell you nothing. So once you understand the connection, fire. I'm going to show y'all. Can I show y'all inside the mosque before we go forward? Can I show you just a little piece? I said I wasn't going to do this, but I did go live on Instagram, but I'm going to give y'all at least less than five minutes to show you inside the biggest, this was the biggest mosque in the world. The Mosquita was the biggest mosque in the world. Now they say it's the second largest mosque. You had over 40,000 people making Salat there. Over 40,000 Muslims making Salat at the Mosquita. At the Mosquita. So I'm just going to give y'all just a little bit, all right? Come on. I'm not assuming anything, so I'm not a YouTuber. I don't research stuff on YouTube, B. A lot of the stuff that y'all getting, honestly, is crazy misinformation. And I go to the gutter, straight gutter, trying to get this information for y'all. So bear with me. I'm going to show y'all a couple of them, all right? I think one is probably 22 seconds and one is 16 so bear with me. Some beautiful stuff in here. So just let me show y'all. That's in the mosque. In Cordoba. Beautiful place. I'm going to show you the three kings. That's the three kings. That's inside. You see the brother? The three kings inside the mosquito. That's the three kings. Ooh. 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 Let's go. Let me see something. can't hear him but he's talking about it. hold up i got some more i think bear with me i'm gonna show you everything god darn 
So hit the like button, y'all. Please hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the support button, hit it all. Give me one second. I took so my damn storage is full now. Listen, he said the first, he's the most famous mosque in the whole world. Y'all not trying to hear this, bro. Listen, it's so much history in these places. So now what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to get into this Umar Johnson thing because I was waiting for Umar Johnson to come on for a second. So what I'm going to do, people, is um play this video, 15 minutes of Umar Johnson. Okay? So our history didn't start in slavery, people. It didn't start in slavery. So anybody can come on the feed. Let's go. Slavery, slavery, that is not our culture. Slavery, slavery, erase what they taught you. Ne ne never can your history begin when they telling you. Jamestown, Virginia, this is what they telling you. Slavery, slavery, erase what they taught you. Ne ne never can your history begin when they telling you. Jamestown, Virginia, this is what they telling you. 1619 white people are selling you. The only thing you did was increase their revenues. These are all lies. You gotta remember you, get yourself a pen and pad, write down what I'm telling you First you're not a sinner, really you're a winner But a racist only sees you serving at dinner So they try to make your huge history thinner Starting your history in Jamestown, Virginia 1619, they calling you nigger Them Dutch masses, that's why I don't smoke their cigars But the three in Jamestown, Virginia Six How many black scholars smoke Dutch cigars? The Dutch been smoking niggas since 1492 Dutch been smoking niggas since 1492. You ain't smoking a Cuban cigar, my nigga. You smoking a Dutch cigar. You see how I can do a whole conversation just off of that? The Dutch been smoking niggas since 1492. Let's go. 1919, they calling you nigger. Them Dutch masters, that's why I don't smoke their cigars. But the devil's a fibber. In 1619, there was no slavery in Jamestown, Virginia. For one, Virginia wouldn't give statutory recognition of slavery to 1661. So, slavery, slavery, that is not our culture. Slavery, slavery, erase what they taught you. Slavery, slavery. Word, tell me this, how can the first Africans be slaves in Virginia when slavery didn't exist? The long answer, you can say. The short answer is, this is how they want us all to behave. Like slaves in caves, killing each other. Homicide for the sister, suicide for the brother. But the real black history is a history you can feel. Black history includes the making of the wheel. Black history begins agriculture, which begins Egyptian, Greek, and Roman culture. We were known for sculpture. Don't tell me about slaves or slobs, Eastern Europeans looking for jobs. They were caught by the Vikings and worked for free, then sold to any buyer off the Caspian Sea. So don't tell me about slavery and try to diminish. Let's talk about Nanny Maroon beating the British. So slavery, slavery, that is not our culture. Slavery, slavery, erase what they taught you. Slavery, slavery, that is not our culture. Listen, every time they talking about black history, we gotta start with some slaves living in black misery. This is not our history, but some of us don't know yet. They don't know about the Kushites, ain't heard about the Olmecs. Our true history has not even been told yet. This that knowledge of yourself you need to go get. Black history begins the whole human family. The black 
queen mother gave birth to all humanity. Here this is the first God. This is where you come from. But now that you've been educated, this is who you run from. Yo, the Irish were slaves. The English were slaves. The Russians, Hungarians, Armenians were slaves. The Greeks, the Italians, the Polish were slaves. Native America and India was enslaved. So how does slavery only apply to the African? This is what they want you to be. To bring it more again. Bring it back again. Slavery. Don't try to go up against me. Y'all going to lose. I'm talking to you want to be black scholars. Don't try it. The best thing to do is ignore Sabir Bay. So ignore me. That's the only you can't even ignore me because I'm on every channel. So when everybody on this feed right now to tweet it out, real Sabir Bay, share it on everybody's platform and let's bring it to the cypher. I'm just getting my second win. Bring it to the cypher, B. All right. So let's go. I'm going to play this video with Umar Johnson and I'm going to show you how you critique somebody. OK, now we're going to critique umar johnson you can't critique me by just talking to me you got to play the videos and see i'm gonna show you what real skills are about are you ready let's get into this umar johnson piece bear with me one second it didn't make no sense he said they don't study and y'all better do your research on this he said that the fbi don't target white supremacy groups that was he said i can't make this up he said the fbi don't target white supremacy groups first of all who's white so bear with me let me see if i can find this video with umar johnson talking about this i can't make this up my instagram grade go out y'all so bear with me where's that video at who did i just share this to give me one second Yo, why I can't find that video now? I know I just had that goddamn video. I'm not crazy, yo. Don't tell me they took the video down. Well, this is what you do. You go to YouTube and find it. So we cut off on YouTube. I mean, Instagram. Come right back on. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play at least 15 minutes of it. I think no. He just jump on everything. God damn, this dude didn't jump on everything that pops up here. Peace and Pan Africanism, brothers and sisters. Here you go. Peace and Pan Africanism. Can't make this up. Can't this is your up. big brother, King Kong Consciousness, this is great. Intercontinental Ifa Tunde, Institution Builder Ifa Tunde, Institution International Builder. Ifa Tunde, Intellectual Ifa Tunde, Notorious RBG, most requested and influential Black scholar and Pan Africanist in the world. That don't make sense. I want to hold offer up, hold some up. preliminary thoughts on the Buffalo Massacre. Bear with me. I gotta, I, y'all gotta see this, man. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I gotta start my Instagram back over. This is, this is, this is, this is embarrassment. Yeah, the most requested around the world, but, but you gotta ask people to get a spot. You gotta ask somebody to find you a spot, nigga, <laughs> to speak at. But bear with me. Y'all can share this to him. King Kong consciousness, right? Institution building. Give me one second. Now, if you in your feelings about Umar, let Umar defend himself and come on. Let Umar talk himself and come on. Again, I know y'all like to be comfortable. Y'all very comfortable, B. Y'all scared to talk about these people. Now, again, you see how many people come at me, sis, and I'll be, I'm fine with it. Well, brother, how we want to come together when you tearing each other down? I'm not tearing this brother down. I want to make this clear for y'all. 
I don't call nobody a coon, agent, mother F for none of this, right? I'm not tearing him down. This is just reality. He said this. So what I'm going to do is take it from the top, okay? Can I say something? One sure, thing. hurry. It's quick, it's quick. We're already tore down. <laughs> and I'm going to move my mic on it. I'm, I'm going to be real, because this, this is the problem. I told you, I just ran through the alchemist thing for a reason. I walked y'all through everything pertaining to alchemy, right? You never hear me talk about the white man. Even my son was killed by my own people. Do you hear me talking about them? I say our people have a sickness. I was there. I was in that same spot. But when you grow up, you do grown people's things. What these conscious people do, what the conscious people do is that they don't want, you know, they got to say something about you and not even knowing you. Now, I just showed y'all. Go watch my videos. If y'all just came on my Instagram, y'all late. I've been on it for like an hour already. So come to YouTube, Sabir Bay YouTube channel. Come to the Sabir Bay YouTube channel. So when people who talk about white supremacy, but you got everything from the white man, Umar brags about having six degrees from the white man. You ain't never see him really on the ground doing shit for real, for real. And if y'all don't like it, share it. You never saw Tariq Nasheed on the ground doing shit, but they sit behind this social media. And when I'm traveling, I'm using, do you see how many cards I have in the back of this phone? One, two, three, four, one in the phone. Do you see? I want y'all to see this on Instagram too. Bear with me. Do you see in the back of this phone how many Sims cards are there? So there is no excuse for anyone who is actually getting hundreds and thousands of dollars. You can have an online traveling school. Do you know that? This is the mother freaking metaverse, B. You better be the you better be the alchemist, my nigga. You don't need to have a physical building. We did but it. People, but people get mad. And again, we didn't start in big places. That's a European's mindset. Did you know that? That's a European mindset that Umar Johnson had, rather y'all want to believe it or not. You know, when churches got started, they was in little behind places. They were small. It ain't about the buildings, people. It's about how much money these cats can get. If I'm wrong, share this to him. I know about the Caliphate. I can break all that down about the Caliphate. I'm just not doing it live on my video. I, I recorded enough. Believe me. I got so much concrete evidence on so many levels of this, man. So many levels. And this is what the sister was saying earlier about me giving y'all a million dollars worth of game when I was live earlier. A million dollars worth of game that you ain't never heard before. I showed y'all. So let's go back to Umar Joss. I'm going to play 15 minutes and I want to know what y'all feedbacks are, okay? Maybe Umar watching. I want to offer some preliminary thoughts Listen on the Buffalo Race Massacre. That's what I'm calling it. The Buffalo Race Massacre of 2022. Before I do that, I want to send deepest condolences. I want to send deepest condolences. I want to send deepest condolences Why to three times? our family in Buffalo. Come on. The supermarket where I believe 11 Africans Hold up. Let me stop lost their life. If you want to come on my feet, Come on my feet and talk to me, melting the universal minds. Come on my feet, because you call these people Europeans, you will get cursed the hell out. Oh, you don't want it with me? You don't want this with me, B. I don't know what part of Spain that you've been in. What part of Spain you've been in? Barcelona? I want to know what part of Spain you've been in, B. Come on my feet. Let's bring this person on for a second. What part of Spain you ain't got to go around the block? Come straight and tell me. What part of Spain you've been in that we can talk, okay? All right, come on the feed. I'm going to give you the opportunity, B. Oh, y'all see it. I'm going to give you the opportunity. Come on the feed. I sat with these people. Oh, come on. Let's go. I'm going to see if they want to come on and I want them. You ain't got to go around the block. Just tell me what part of Spain you was in. And, and let me tell you something where they was probably at if they went to Spain. They was in Madrid, my nigga. <laughs> I mean, not Madrid. It was in Barcelona, my nigga. That's where most people from the United States go is Barcelona. You ain't really been to Spain, B. 
you ain't never really been an L under the loose. So let me put my link up here for one second. Hold up. Note up. Because he really said a person from Spain, I don't want to tell their business, but they don't Europeans. They only like their money, just like they like black people money. They only like the money. So hit the link and tell me what part of Spain you've been on. Come on. You ain't got to talk no stuff. Just get on the feed. Hit the link while we play this. Today, so in the interest of solidarity and out of respect for African life, we're going to have a moment of silence right now, and I will commence my message. Let's pull it. Most High forgive their faults. May the ancestors guide them to heaven. May the Most High forgive their faults. May the Most High expand their virtues. And may they come back with countless of other Africans. May they return to the earth. Are we going to get to I yet to as more in all that massacre this move. of on. June 17th, 2015. This is crazy. This is what y'all like. Charleston, South Carolina race massacre they just of shut June up. Hold up. 17th, 2015. Yesterday's Buffalo, New York race massacre was only 35. Hold up. He said, I'm doing business. Then get the hell off the feed and go do your business. Get off the feed. Stop making excuses up. Stop typing because it takes a lot to type and just get on for less than two minutes. Less than two minutes. You can jump on. Tell me what part and get off. You do a lot of typing. So you ain't got to keep typing. Just jump on, jump off. Boy, y'all don't know who you're dealing with, B. Y'all truly don't know what you're dealing with. I want y'all to understand the difference between a man and a boy. Okay? So he forgot to talk about the shooting that took place in, I was it Texas recently? I think it was Texas, right? Okay, so mass shooting is bad, period. But I want y'all to hear this. this Everywhere is severe. In short of the seventh anniversary of the Charleston race massacre. Let me say that again. Yesterday's Buffalo, New York race massacre was only 35 days short of the seven year anniversary of the Charleston, South Carolina race massacre of June 17, 2015. Number one, I've said this over and over again. Listen. I've been saying it since the Charleston race massacre of 2015. Black people, are so colorblind, so apolitical, so in love with integration that we fail to secure ourselves in our places and in our persons. What I am saying. What do you call a person that has a degree in a white man's school? Would that be called integration? In the white man's, I'm just being real. This is how you critique. If you got a degree from the white man's school, that's called integration, right? Is Am I wrong about something? Can we get Umar on the line so we can explain that part? He said, we are so in love with integration. When integration been going on for the longest, integration been going on. Oh, y'all don't want this. So I don't have a degree from the white man. But he said, you are so in love with the white man. Oh, we not done yet, B. We're going to have some fun. Let's go. He ain't talking about what happened to us in 1492. No, let's go. Let's go. Share this to Umar. Let's go. Let's and I need you to understand, overstand, and understand me. Understand, what overstand, I am understand. saying, and I want you to understand, overstand, and understand me. No non-African should be able to come in African space and not be questioned about their purpose. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's let's do this. I'm I'm being I'm being petty like a motherfucker. He said no non-African. This nigga ain't from Africa. He was born in Philly. That nigga is not from Africa. He's from Philly. But bear with me. I hope. No non-African. Even though we all, if the world, if everybody came from Africa, we all Africans. Am I lying? If everybody come from Africa, because he wasn't born there. His father wasn't born there, right? So let's make it make sense. Let's get Umar. See, y'all don't want this type of conversation. So 
if every nation or every person came from Africa, the damn everybody's African. I want you to hear this craziness, man, that y'all cheerlead. <laughs> Bear with me. Let's go. No non-African. I don't care if it's European. I don't care if it's Latino. I don't care if it's Arab, East Indian, Native American. Did you say Arab? No non-African should be allowed to come into African space and not be questioned as to their purpose for being there. You've heard me say a million times over, African people Get on my feet. cannot go into the space of another culture and not be rejected or at least... That's a goddamn lie. That's a lie. I saw so many Africans, real Africans, out here in Spain. So don't let these people tell y'all stories that how they being mistreated. My sister Karen is here with me. She can bear witness to what I'm saying. She can bear witness on the ground, not for two days, in a comfortable Barcelona hotel. If you really talk to Africans, you need to talk to them. This is why I'm on the ground, people. Same thing in Sicily. Thank you very much, my brother RC. I wish RC would come on here for a second because this person keep typing and they ain't coming on my feed yet. They keep typing and talking. I want them to come on. But RC, come on for a second, brother, because we travel, right? So bear with me. I got a book. Trust me, all that stuff you're talking about the Moorish Jews, I don't want that. I taught that about the Moorish Jews. I got books on the Moorish Jews. So bear with me. He said, <laughs> Let me just bump the up. I, I don't understand these dudes, man. Bear with me. Questioned. In fact, most of us would not dare go anyway because we know we're not wanted. That's a lie. The Charleston Race Massacre of 2015. And our heart goes out to the Reverend uh, Pinkney, Clemente Pinkney, and all the others, and the six mothers who died in the Charleston Race Massacre. Our heart goes out oh, to on, us as a people. Is we allow not to automatically consider it their responsibility to police the non Africans who come amongst us? Can you step outside for a minute? Because you're not a member of the community. I need to see your photo ID. Listen, we need to take a picture of your photo ID because you're not a member of this community. Hold up. But, 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 no buts. You're not. Do you, I want y'all to hear me. What's up, RC? Majority of the places you go, first of all, if I went from West Philly to North Philly or in another country, another state, right, that look like our people, I'm not part of their community. They're going to look at me like I'm kind of crazy. That's real talk. Right, but let me listen to this, RC. I can't make this up. I hope y'all get Umar in here. Well, listen to this. A member of this community, we cannot deny you access because we receive government funding. Now listen, we I cannot want, deny you access. I want you to catch what he's trying to get y'all to feed into. Watch this. Listen to this, RC. Because we're still. I need to see your photo ID. We need to take a picture of your photo ID because you're not a member of this community. But 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 no buts. You're not a member of this community. Are you? We cannot deny you access. Listen. Because we receive government funding. We cannot deny you access because we're still on the government's breast. The same government we claim don't love us, we're constantly begging them for funding. The same government we claim don't love us, we're constantly begging them for funding. So we can't turn you away. We will lose our funding if we turn you away not because we're not independent. We don't do things the way Garvey did them. We don't do things the way Ifa Tunde does yeah. them. We believe in government subsidy. So we can't turn you away, but we need to see photo ID and we have to take a picture of your photo ID. If you cannot let us know who you are, you have to leave here because we are not familiar with you. All the black people, we're familiar with them. We're not familiar with you. You are strength. That's a lie. If anybody knows, we used to have the Zulu anniversaries and all these meetings in New York. Everybody didn't know everybody that walked inside there. Let's keep it 100. We didn't. Oh, y'all people, what's going? you see what's going on, RC? If you see that he's feeding into people's emotions, he said, we know everybody in here. No, you don't know everybody in these lectures. Let's keep this 100. No, 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 no. I just, I just want to know one thing. So the ID that we're going to have to show, is that the same ID that the government issues? Or is that going to be like some, something that we create yeah, that's ourselves? A good, that's a good one. Damn, that's a good one. So would it be state ID? That's the white man's ID, right? 
Oh, that's a damn good one, bro. Right. Damn. I want that's what y'all should have asked Umar Johnson. What kind of ID you want me to show? The white man's ID? Because he got the white man's passport too. I don't know if y'all know that or not. Umar Johnson got the white man's passport, but he said he don't have no white friends. Oh, y'all not trying to hear me. <laughs> See, I want you to think, get out your feelings. Get out your feelings. Cause you heard what my brother RC said. What ID they going to show? Anybody can jump on the feed. Come on, let's jump on the feed and stay on cold, okay? And that's what the word is, stay on cold. Let's go a little further. Watch this. To this organization, we need to see your photo ID or we have to ask you to leave. What's so hard about that? What is so hard about that? What is so hard about asking to see photo ID? Of the non-Africans who come into your spaces. How would you know somebody non-African? Black America. The colorblind days are over. We're not asking hold you up. to hate nobody. We're not asking you to hurt hold, nobody. Hold, hold. We're hold not up. asking you to hate. We're Atlas, could you help me out, brother? What is a non-African? When you the non-African, like, what? Can somebody help a brother? Could y'all shit us out to the ethers, man? Because I want to know what is a non-African, my nigga. <laughs> Somebody said, excellent question, RC. I'm being real with you. We're going to have an Af African litmus test. You, <laughs> we're going to ask you a whole bunch of series of questions. Make sure you're Look, back. Hold on, we're going to ask you a bunch of questions. Hold on one second. What school did you go to? I went to the white man's school. Uh, hold on one second. Oh, I went yeah, to I got revoked. Sorry. Uh, you can't come in. Uh, you can't come you can't in. Come in. Mm -mm. This is the no. crazy part. It said they even got a real ID ID here in Chicago. It's called the real ID. Yup. That's coming too. Oh, all this is coming, B. Oh, it's all coming. But see, instead of educating the people on what's happening, not white supremacy, not emotionalism, but you have to engage the people's minds so you can, when stuff come, you, you address it the right way. That's how you do this. So I don't fear nothing. And I've ran across so many people in my journeys. They don't go through no bull. I don't see them saying, listen, if you are a foreigner in any neighborhood, if I'm from one part of the city and you from another part, and if I come up your city trying to mess with your girl, nigga, you're going to look at me like, nigga, what you doing? You're going to get it. This is just the reality. So I know he didn't experience none of this stuff growing up where he grew up at, but, you know, he saved from Philly, but he didn't experience these things, right? But do racism, does racism exist in the United States? Yes, it does. But it's deeper than that. It exists because they know something about us that we don't know about ourselves. That is the key to all of this. And once you understand what took place in Spain in 1492, all hell broke loose. I was in Portugal. I was in Portugal. I went to the Moors Castle. Sabir, have you ever de debated Umar? I don't debate him. That'd be child abuse. That'd be straight child abuse if I debate him. He called me a coon one time when somebody asked him to sit with me. This is what he said. No lie, RC. Somebody said, sit with Sabir, but this nigga said, I ain't gonna sit with that coon. He said, we can meet in the alley in Philadelphia. I said, meet in the alley, nigga. I used to sell crack to niggas in the alley, nigga. You crazy? I swear to God, that's what he said. Meet me in the alley. And I went back to Philly just, to, just for that, too. I really went back to Philly. If anybody know, I was in Philly. So I'll be back in Philly for a Doom Day, too. A Doom Day street festival. I'll definitely be back in Philadelphia for that, too. I'll be in Atlanta also. Okay. So don't worry about it. You'll see me pop up in Atlanta soon. See, I like to do stuff like that. So that's what Umar said. He called me a coon, but I said coons is a black person. That's what a coon is. If you look up the definition, if y'all know how to research and read, a coon is a black person. I'm not black. Okay? So let's move forward. So that'd be child abuse for me to do that with him. Straight up. Let's move forward with him. Okay, come on my feed then. Stop typing. Why are you still typing? I thought you was working. I thought this person was working. They still typing. I ain't. If I'm lying, get on my feed and point by point tell me that I'm lying. This is how you do this. Get on the feed, step by step, and tell me that I'm lying. Because I'm going to pull out receipts on your ass in a minute. Don't play with Sabir. Let's go. We're not asking you to hurt. We're asking you to be so concerned about African life. We're asking you to hold African life so dear and so sacred that when someone who doesn't look like us comes amongst us,
they are pulled to the side and questioned as to their intent for being there. If we care, if he cares so much about African life in Philadelphia, if you go online, I want y'all to follow me. I need y'all to do this. I want you to go online and see how many murders in Philadelphia. Somebody do that for me this year. He's in Philadelphia. He don't live nowhere else. He's in Philly. I want you to go online and find out how many murders are in Philadelphia since he talked about African life. And find out, have you ever seen Umar Johnson on the corner talking to these young brothers, 25 and under? This is what I want you to do. When my son was killed, it was over three to 400 murders in that one year, everyone under 30. Everyone under 30, when my son got killed, over 300 something murders, I believe it's up to two to 300 now in 2022. Where the hell did Umar go to talk to these young brothers at? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Honestly. I look in you to be so concerned about African life. We're asking you to hold African life so dear and so sacred that when someone who doesn't look like us comes amongst us, they are pulled to the side and questioned as to their intent for being there. I know you're getting government funding so you can't send them away. You see the game? I know you're getting government grants you so you can't you send them away. I know you're getting corporate subsidies. I know you're in love with the white dollar. I know he's in love with the white dollar because that's all he keep asking for. Oh, you follow me. Am I making this shit up? I can't make this up. He said, I know you're in love with the white dollar, but you talking about cash at me, PayPal me, FDMG. Come on, B. Let's go. Still, so you can't send them away. I know you're getting corporate subsidies. I know you're in love with the white dollar. I know you still think you can build black power with the white dollar. I know you still think you can build black power with the white dollar. I Ain't this what he's doing right now? Ain't this what he's trying to do? Let's be realistic. I mean, come on, B. I know y'all upset with me because I'm doing this. This ain't got shit to do with ego. If you think it's an ego, get on my feed. This is what I do. Don't get mad at me because I can stand this. Y'all can get on my feed and cuss me out because I don't talk like this. Let me put my link up here. Let's go. This ain't got shit to do with no ego, B. It's got something to do with y'all falling for the okie doke. You cannot build black power with the white man's dollar the same way that he's talking about it. Stop. Because he's keep telling you to go to FDMG. Y'all Negroes are in a shadow grave, B. Don't get, listen, do not speak for him. Get him on the feet so he can speak for himself. And this is, this is, this is not to tear him down. I want y'all to see the foolishness that what we do, because these brothers have not produced nothing for the masses of our people. And the real people that's on the ground are the ones who suffer the most. I don't have a degree from the white man. I don't talk about the white man because I know he's not white. That's number one. He's not white. Let's go. You still think you can build black power with the white dollar. So I know you can't tell them they're not welcome, but you can at least question their motive and you can at least get a photo of their ID. You can Hold up. My brother Atlas did the research. He said 190 failed. 194 homicides in May of 26, 2022. This is a mother freaker. And they are us killing us. They're us killing us. So how are you trying to help these brothers? It's us killing us. When my son was killed, it was over 300 and something murders. And I went and showed, I'm from Philly, B. I've been shot up in Philly. Trust me. Been there, done that. Let me tell y'all something. I don't fucking bullets hurt, B. They hurt like hell. And I'm watching us do what we do instead of reaching these brothers. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm educated. I'm trying to grab these young brothers before they get caught up. And I'm not saying push them into school. I'm talking about have knowledge of who you truly are. That's what they fear. They don't fear you talking about white man's the devil or white supremacy. That's not what they fear. Yes, I'm born and raised in Philadelphia, 22nd and Catherine. 22nd and Catherine, South Philadelphia. If I name my brothers, if you from Philly, from South Philly, we damn near the whole South Philly. 
I got five brothers. You want me to run them down? Rick, Craig, Darren. Which one? I'm from 22nd and Catherine, B. So I got shot on 22nd and Catherine. My son was killed on 22nd and Webster, right around the corner from me. I got hit five times. You right across the bridge, sis. You know what I'm talking about then. 22nd and Catherine. I got shot out in Wilson Projects with a 30-30 in my leg in a shootout that I was in. A 30-30. Okay? I got shot on 22nd and Catherine five times with a 38 trying to grab the gun from the dude. My son was shot on 22nd and Fitchwater a year before he was killed. He got killed on 22nd and Webster the next year. Shot up. Don't tell me about the streets. I know the streets. I live the streets. I'm from them streets. I'm from the streets. I went to Catherine, Catherine Elementary School. I'm being real with you. So when I'm listening to this and we're not really feeding these babies, bro, like I'm telling you, these murders are insane. My brother just posted up 194 murders, B, all under the age of 25. 30, matter of fact. 30. So when Umar talking about building with the, you can't have black power with white dollars, stop asking for the white dollars and then educate these people. Educate them. I just showed y'all all the stuff that I was doing. It's so much history, y'all, that is hidden from us. When I took you into that alchemy place, that was insane. That was an eye open. I see, yo, we've been dealing with alchemy. You be the change. You be the change that you want. I'm not trying to be no one's leader. I'm not trying to be to get off my feet if you don't care. And who, why do you care? I don't care. I care about these young people killing themselves. I care about the young ones that is killing themselves because of the ignorance that's being placed. I sat back and I'm watching this stuff, RC. I'm not lying. I know you travel. I don't see the killing the way we are killing each other, bro. It's insane. It's insane. And you know, even in Spain, do you know if a cop pulls a gun on a person, no matter, and I've seen it all up and down there. Do you know they will be charged for that shit? You can't this, you cannot pull your gun out. You can't. Think about it for a minute. Who's moral, who's more morally right? I'm not saying it's perfect in these places, but there's protocols and things that you that's in place if they do that. But you have so many sellout black people that's out here, dude, that's chasing the dollar. This is the crazy part. And you got all these people saying pushing our people into their schools. And the only thing you're going to come up with is white supremacy. Let's ask y'all a serious question before I play Umar Johnson again. How many of y'all feel inferior to anybody? This is the conversation we should be having. Do you live in Philadelphia now? No, I live. I've been, I'm always back in Philly. I'll be back in Philly for the Doom Day Festival. And you already know what it is. I'll be back in Philly for the Doom Day Festival. I live in California between Cali and out here. Um, how many people, damn, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, feel inferior to anybody. Be honest with me. Do you feel inferior to anybody? Do anybody on his feed feels inferior? This, this is what y'all should be asking people. <laughs> you feel inferior. That I don't feel inferior to nobody. Come on. Do anybody? Come on. Somebody said, not me. Hold up. Not me. My link, you talking about for my link is right there. Everybody say, nope, I don't. What up, Tam? Nope. Nope. Everybody saying no. So let's see. Okay, cool. I will be messaging you more. Come on, nobody, right? So we can, damn, why am I tablet key? I'm a laptop key doing this. But we can say this. You can say systematic supremacy. That sounds much better. Systematic supremacy. That sounds much better. Systematic. So everybody's saying no, right? So how do y'all allow these people to sit up here and call it white supremacy? How? Come on, man. How? <laughs> okay. So let's play some more, okay? Of Umar. I hope you I know y'all shared this to him already. I don't feel inferior to know now. But they only cause I'm awake. Exactly. And that's the thing about it. People still sleeping. But you got to wake them up from that 
shadow grave, my brother RC. Wake him up from that shadow grave to an upright perpendicular straight up on the square. An upright perpendicular straight up on the square. We got it. What's that? 144 people, 42 people in here. Come on, let's go. So you have people who look like us that's doing us dirty also. Ain't that right, RC? It's like every it's like Absolutely. that in every country that you may go to. The cheapest thing you can buy is a nigga and a stick of gum. And a nigga don't mean that it's just a black person. I'm gonna say what was that movie, movie with the um the cheapest thing the dudes you can buy out of Chicago, Judas and the Black Messiah? You remember that one? Oh yeah. Right. Prime example. That so, movie. So was I don't understand what they'll make a talking about. Yeah. How you gonna like sit up there and ask people only Africans can show you your ID? And it's your own people who the ones going to be infiltrating, stabbing you behind the back. Ooh, ooh, those are the ones ooh. we need to check them. But as soon as you try to check those people, you know you got a lot of people throwing stones and want to hide their hand. You know those are the main ones supporting. Hmm. And this is the thing: the reason why a lot of stuff happens, and honestly, how they can do it, you can't buy severe Bay off. I've been in it for a long time. They, get, they, I told you the other day, they'll see your light and they're going to avoid you. But they'll say, let's see if he's a homosexual on the low. Eh, ain't going to happen. Let's see if he likes strippers. No, nope, eh, ain't going to happen. Let's see what type of drug he like. Eh, ain't going to happen. You don't think for one minute they have not tried that with me? It's not. If they so, can't assassinate you physically, they're going to assassinate your character. They, and that's the key. They're going to assassinate your character because they know. And they're going to use a public opinion to do it. You follow me? So I told you, be honest with yourself, B. And this is the thing. If you ever watch this movie called The Spook That Set by the Door, go watch mm -hmm. that movie again. <laughs> the Spook That Set by the Door. Watch it. That's just too deep. Yo, I had a long discussion with this. Long as, I had a long discussion with this man before he passed away. It was that Sam right? Brown? But yeah, I had a discussion with him on the phone. And I think I was living in Philly at the time. That's how long it's been. I was living in Philly at the time. So I was supposed to go to Chicago and sit because he asked me to come to Chicago and sit with him. To have coffee and i i never forget i swear to god this i've been in l.a since 2010 i'm gonna tell you exactly where i was at i was on the second floor on 22nd and catherine in my mom in my mom's house that was my mom was going my mom passed in 2008 so we had the house so i was and i it's crazy because i was in the same bed that my mom passed away i never got rid of her bed this is the craziest thing ever i never got rid of her bed right and i remember being on the phone with him and this is when you had to get on the phone and call there i didn't the cell phones i think they was charging but I was on the phone with him and he's telling me the story about the technology and what we have today and how we can do things. And he was like, when will you come to Chicago and sit with me? Let's have coffee. This is the one that wrote, did the spook that said by the door. So he started telling me the story of how he did the movie. Mm -hmm. He was telling about his experience. You see what I'm saying? And what they do to people is they try to figure your weakness out. And that's what they operate on, your weakness. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. And they will bring in people that look like you and I. Mm -hmm. I told the story when I was first going into radio, how the brother, the brother Russell Muhammad told me this on 21st and Christian. Never forget this. 21st and Christian is in 2003 in Christian in Philadelphia. Russell Muhammad, that's in the nation. And I always bring this up to brother Russell Muhammad in 2003. There was no Tariq Nasheeds around either. No hidden colors either. So as I'm, I'm standing there with him, He's telling me, Sabir, he said, this is what they're going to do to somebody like you because they can't control you. They're going to, he said, they're going to discredit you, give you their money, give you their woman, rather it's a sister or European, or they're going to try to assassinate you. I swear to God, that's what he ran down to me. That was in 2003. So he told me to make sure your shit, he didn't curse, but he said, make sure your shit and your background is good, dude, because mm -hmm. they're going to bring it up. And the one thing that I see with our people even in this conscious community, out of all the dirt and the filth that these cats is doing, right? Out of all of this stuff is happening, you see it's being exposed now. Mm -hmm. Being exposed. So they'll say <laughs> he was doing this and he was doing that and he was did this and he did that. Nigga, you they, only see, you only see me with my daughter, my nigga. Look, you they see? gonna be they gonna be watching the, the Netflix yeah. documentary on, on uh Umar Johnson in 20 years. Talking about, oh man, I ain't know Umar was doing all that behind the scenes. It's like, yeah, remember what Sabir was trying to tell you this 20 years ago? And you were sitting exactly. up there on, on YouTube talking all that shit. And this is the bad part, brother, because again, this is why I give people 
concrete evidence on what I'm speaking on. I'm not, you know, just telling you to go look this stuff up on YouTube. I'm showing you what I experienced and the conversations that I had. If you, if you was with me, RC, bruh, you'd be like, yo, you a beast with it. I don't have no fear. I do this in every country I go to have straight conversation with these people. They'd be like, nigga, where you from? They'd be thinking I'm from Jamaica. I'd be like, no, I see because of the locks. And this is what I do sometimes. I'll be act like I can't talk. Mm-hmm. So if I do like this, you know, because if I talk, they're going to know I'm from the States. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'll be like this. <laughs> so you better know, you better know multiple languages, big. And this is why I said I want my daughter to know multiple languages. You know what I mean? Because what happens, people, we we forget that. We don't, we don't, we speak one language and we don't have that down. down pat. So have that down pat. So invest in your children, invest in your invest in your your, your knowledge, man. Like Karis once said, invest in knowledge way beyond college, man. Mm-hmm. The best education is to travel. Back. That is the best education Back. ever, is to travel straight up. That's the best education. And don't take my word for it. When you witness it, you see it. Somebody said they use fear. Exactly. And fear is only false evidence appearing real. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Okay. <laughs> Let me go back to this video again. This is crazy. My point is that we are, are not Arabs. Well, you don't know what Arab is. Men in, in the Middle East. Where have you been, though? <laughs> I want to know. These are, you're in the Middle East right now, right? No, nah, I'm, I'm in the States. I'm about to go back on the fourth, though. Okay, so let's see if that person, what what part would, come on, I want to know where they at. Get their experts on here. They keep typing, but I don't know why they don't come on here. Come on, I mean, where they at? They typing, I want to know, uh, like, know crazy, so, so I'm in, um, so normally I'm back and forth between uh, Bahrain. I don't know if you're familiar with Bahrain. You know, it's an yeah. uh, island nation in the uh, Arabian Gulf. And I actually met a brother there, and the brother's like my complexion. And I thought he was, you know, so-called African American, Negro, whatever you call it. Yes. He's like, nah, I'm, I'm Bahraini, I'm by birth. It's, it's, you know, my family been bro. here for generations. And I was like, oh, that's crazy, man. I was like, I wish, you know, people could see, you know, that this is what we look like over here. You know what I mean? Because they got this preconceived notion of, of what an Arab is, and, and yeah, what you think an Arab is 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 not what it is. That's why they got that war in Yemen going on right now. But you know, I don't want you know, <laughs> I don't want to get too far off on a, you know a tangent, but but like I said, if you don't travel and you don't see these things firsthand, then they really you won't know because you're not gonna see it on TV, and a lot of people not reading, so all they are gonna get is you know the preconceived notion of what they do. Remember they used to have the five dollar Indians, yep. exactly, yep. Just like you mm-hmm. had the five dollar Indians and this notion of what a, a so called Native American looks like, there's this notion of what a Arab looks like. And that's exactly. not what it is when you go to these countries. Exactly. And this is the thing, bro. Like, you can't even tell a person that if they don't travel. And it's weird. It's hard. And I'm sitting mm-hmm. back. Y'all like, still listening to this stuff? It's played out, B. Y'all, you do know that these Negroes tend to get in on the golden door of no return. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember Umi saying this to me. She says, Sabir, why would I want to go to the door of no return and be depressed? That's what she told me. Why? Right. It messes with your vibration your vibration man this is the crazy thing and people get in their feelings that's why we're not going nowhere that's not this is why we're not going nowhere i don't care personally how you feel about Sabir, but prove what i'm saying to me to you is incorrect prove what i'm saying is incorrect and what rc is saying that's incorrect f us Prove what we saying is wrong. Matter of fact, you ain't even got to prove it to me. Because like I said, I, you know, you. I said my you passport is got stamps. You know what I, I mean? Go, go, go see for yourself. Mine. I got stamps on mine. <laughs> exactly. They got to go, go see for themselves. I want the first thing I want to see is their, I want to see their stamps and where they've been at. Because and not even just that, I'm recording RC. The, in, in, the, in the videos I've been going live with, bro, I've been going live, but I, I stopped the video because Karen was saying that, no, you shouldn't do this live like you shouldn't do it live just save it i got photos that i'm gonna start signing bro like dope photos that you ain't never seen before and i don't even know if you can go online and find them so these are the things that i'm doing umar umar don't travel nowhere he can't teach anybody anything god damn damn okay but anywho but i'm gonna play this little video i told you i'm gonna give y'all 15 minutes i've been on it for an hour and 39 
So let's go. My play it back. Again. It's always a pleasure, family. No, don't go nowhere, RC. Stay on for a minute, bro. I like talking to people who travel. Let's have that conversation. Don't go nowhere. Can at least do that, my colorblind. Jesus loves everybody, Negroes. You can at least have some security protocol. Don't be so colorblind. Don't be so pathologically integration. The best goddamn security I know is the FOI, my nigga. <laughs> you can't say all crit. You got some. Yes, the FOI got security. So what is he talking about? Let's listen to this again. That you won't even question the non-Africans amongst you. That's point number one. Point number two. Brothers and sisters. Contact your local chapter of the New Black Panther Party. Contact your local chapter of the Fred Hampton Gun <laughs> Club. Contact your local chapter of the Huey P. Newton Gun, Gun Club and tell them you need some training. Tell what? them you need some training. And to the other black organizations out there Hold who up. are responsibly training black people, and tell them you need some training. And to the other black organizations out there who are responsibly training black people in the art of self-defense. See, this is why nobody can say nothing to me about the original Black Panther Party or the new Black Panther Party. You can't say nothing to me because their purpose in securing African life and teaching Africans how to secure their life is so very important. The Black Panther Party of 1966 is one of the most relevant organizations ever created in this country. Long live Huey P. Newton. Long live our Prentice Bunchy Carter. Long that nigga must forgot about the FOI, my nigga. Long live John Huggins. Long live Geronimo Pratt. Long live Fred Hampton. Long live George Jackson. Long live Jonathan Jackson. Long live all the Black Panthers who were taken from us. They knew that the security of the African family was of most preeminent importance. Shout out to the NFAC. Shout out to the NFACT as well. Grandmaster J, hold your head. Grandmaster J, hold your head. Grandmaster J, hold your head. But for the NFACT formation, we need y'all to be a lot more, a lot more security conscious in terms of who you letting in your ranks. Same thing with the Panther Brothers, but they already on it. Same thing with the Huey Newton Gun Club and the Fred Hampton Gun Club and all the other black militias. Be you got to organize us, but be careful who you let in your ranks. Be careful who you let in your ranks because the FBI is working on creating a sabotage campaign within the black militia movement. The FBI this nigga is, is working on creating a black lunch, sabotage bro. campaign within the black militia movement. We must be organized you organize or you die it's that simple getting back to my point brothers and sisters when you go out when you go out into the world if there's no security there think twice about going if you're going to a supermarket and they ain't got no security or inadequate security you going nigga i go to the market all the time with no security how about I mean, they're going to come to Whole Foods that Monday. Scary as hell. <laughs> that sounds crazy to motherfucker. I ain't never seen that happen in Whole Foods, my nigga. Trader, Trader Joe's, my nigga. Like, this nigga, y'all, he, <laughs> this, this, listen, I've been in a lot of markets too, but the goddamn niggas that have security when you go to market? Nah. This, did he just say that? Have security when you go to the, I'm done. Let me tell you something. Listen, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Most niggas, right? If a nigga shooting, niggas gonna run. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not. I'm not watering this shit down. I was the stupid ass one that was trying to grab the gun when I got shot. I'm just being real with you. But I've been around niggas that jump on top. They, they put their their child in front of them, or put. I'm gonna be real. Like I'm gonna tell you a story, RC. I'm gonna be real. My son, if he was alive, I told both of my sons this is a real story. This is how I felt. And. I would call my other son. I'm going to tell you the story about this because I told you I tried to grab the gun when I got shot before. I said if someone was shooting, I told my son I would have to take that bullet for him because I know what that shit feel like. I literally told my son I mirror that and I told my, my other son rail that. I know and I do that for my children. I know what this shit feel like. You follow me? So this nigga ain't going to jump and whoever you may have around you 
anybody who's real with this will tell you you're not going to jump in front of a bullet. Now, let me tell you something about this. Stevie Wonder has an ex-police officer that's his security. I swear to God, this is exactly what this nigga told me. Both of his security guards, you wouldn't even know they was ex-police officers. One of them was from New York. You know what this nigga told me? I swear to God, this is what he said. Now, I'm sitting in a restaurant in Simply Wholesome's in L.A., and I'm talking to his security. Both of them I know. Need not tell their names, but I got both of their numbers too, right? So we talking. This nigga said he would take a bullet for Stevie. I said, nigga, you know what that shit feel like? He said, no. I said, nigga, it hurt. I swear to God, that was the conversation. This dude said, now you do have some people who will take a bullet if they get any enough money in the world to do that shit because that motherfucking shit's travel. I'm going to be real. Unless my family is being taken care of when I'm going, maybe. But they are. But when he said this to me, I said, nigga, you would take, because you know, the smallest bullets, they do travel. The other ones, if it hit a bone, like I got hit in my tibia. I don't know if y'all know what the tibia is, right? That's from the knee to the ankle. I got hit with a 38, 30, 30 in my tibia. It shattered my tibia in Wilson Projects because I was a dickhead and I didn't want to run. I thought I couldn't get shot and we shooting it out straight up. And when I turned, that's when I got shot, RC. The other time when I got shot, I tried to grab the gun. But I want you to understand that shit hurts. So he said take security as if somebody's rich to a market, my nigga. Like somebody make it make sense. That shin bone is a mother, bro. Yes. Somebody make it make sense. Thank you. My sister said it basically shakes your bone and travel. Yes, the mother freaking do. I got a 38 slug in my head and I have a 38 slug in my chest. Two still in me. The other ones came out of me. So is this dude telling people, I need y'all to follow me because he's a psychologist, right? Whatever you want to call yourself, is to take security to the market. How about not shopping in those markets, my nigga? How about that part? Because the vibration in those markets are low. Now, my sister's from Southwest, the person that's on the feed. There used to be a place called Pathmark. She knows because she's from Southwest. When you come across the Grace Ferry Bridge, there used to be a Pathmark on Grace Ferry. That's when it was there, the vibration was very low when I used to shop there. When you go into a health store, you'll feel the vibration is a little different. When white people moved, so-called Europeans, so-called white people, when Europeans moved around there, they changed the market, B. They changed it to called Fresh Something. It's called Fresh Something now. I don't remember, but it's changed the name, right? It's that they changed the frequency and the vibration of the market. You're not hearing me. This thing is bigger than this black and white thing, people. Is what we put in inside of our bodies. It's what we put in our bodies. And when you eat a certain way, you can feel somebody's energy. Thank you, my sister. Gress, fresh grocers. That's what it's called. Fresh grocers. I told you. Fresh grocers, right? So y'all know what I'm talking about. This is the crazy part. Like, I grew up. I used to walk there from my house to the Grace Ferry to the market. But when you woke, you can feel it now. If I walk into a place, my energy, my frequency, my vibration is so high that I can feel it. So why would I be there? I can feel a nigga's fake. That's how I can feel dudes on social media is fake. My vibration messes up people. It's like that movie in Venom. Remember Venom? When that vibration and the thing was on him, remember that? Didn't they say he had a parasite in him? Right? So when that vibration vibrates, it was coming off. It was like, ah. And that's what me, I'm vibrating on a certain frequency, and that's why they don't like me. They got to make up shit about me, but it ain't true. I don't care about what you say about me. Confront me. You getting mad because I'm exposing this dude that's lying to people, and nobody knows this man in South Philly? Nobody knows this man walking around in Philly, period? But you upset because I'm talking about him? Get him on the line. Let's go. The movie theater, they ain't got no security or inadequate security. You go into a nightclub, you go into an outdoor security is up the utmost important churches. The black church, which is the biggest collective institution listen, in black America, listen. needs security. 
They do. I know almost no black churches that have real security. That's a goddamn How can the black church? That's a goddamn lie. Where have this nigga been at? Yeah, they do. I live in LA. They do. I live in LA. Not have real security. The black church must have real security. All the money y'all stealing from black folks. All the are you catching what he going? Where he going at with it, RC? You laughing? You see where he's going at, right? Because they're not giving it to him. black. Do you see where he's going at with this? Because you're not giving it to his mystery school. Mm -hmm. Money y'all stealing from black folks. All the money the black church is stealing from black folks right now because today is Sunday. Right now because today is Sunday. Right now, because today is Sunday, all the money that the black church is stealing from the black community and you don't have a security team, you don't have armed guards, undercover or above cover, Umar, you don't have... Umar Johnson is not a hood dude. Umar Johnson is not nowhere near a hood dude. They don't even... <laughs> Same dude that said you need security. That's that, a nigga ain't no hood, that nigga ain't no hood dude, trust me. The hood don't even know him. Armed guards, undercover or above cover? You don't have armed guards. I'm on the front line, so what you mean? I'm definitely on the front line. Am I on the front line, y'all? Let me ask y'all a question. Let's be realistic, because I see y'all on here. Am I on the front line of what's going on? Because I'm around the world. Am I on the front line of all of this craziness that's happening? Let's talk to me. Come on. Am I on the front line? Let's go. Let's be honest with me, man. Y'all can either come on the feed, and you can tell me. Let's go. Come on. He said this for people that's on the front line. Nigga, I'm on the front line every day. Come on. Oh, look. Let me see. Everybody, yeah, right? Am I on the front line? Nigga, oh, you know, front line. Front line of what? Front line of what? What are we talking about front lines? Come on. What's wrong with our people? Y'all, y'all deserve everything that comes your way, B. Don't get mad because I'm bringing it up. You sure are. This is the crazy part. If I'm wrong about something, come on and defend. Since y'all want to defend him, defend him. Proving these Pan-Africans race baiters. And that's exactly what they are, race baiters and scammers. Race baiters is, I don't need no security, nigga. I know how to fight, nigga. And I know what a bullet feel like. Trust me, I can fight. We going to scrap. Somebody going to get hurt with me. That's just what it is. I used to be security for the church before I woke up. See what I'm saying? Like, how are this dude saying these things? Umar is so fake. This girl said Umar is so... This is sad, y'all. I'm not behind no damn enemy lines, my nigga. I don't even know what enemy lines with who? My people? <laughs> who is the enemy? Somebody said... You a journalist, not a soldier, nigga. What's a soldier? Define what a soldier is. Come on my feed, noble. Tell me what a soldier is. Y'all can hit the link and come on. Tell me what a soldier is. Yes, I've been on the front lines teaching for years without asking for donations. Thank you very much. And this is the problem. You're going to hurt yourself playing with me. You're going to trust me. You're going to hurt yourself playing with me. I can get on a plane and come to any platform. You don't want me on first, and you damn sure don't want Sabir Bay on last. You don't want me on first, and you don't want me on last. I was a soldier before I got into journalism. And I'm a soldier of peace and love right about now. But war can come. Let me make this clear for y'all. I'm a soldier for peace and love right now. Because the principles that we stand on is love, truth, peace freedom justice and if someone puts their hands on you you make sure they don't put them on nobody else and this is not severe bay talking because if you know me personally you know how i am trust me ain't no punks in this blood brother my father didn't raise nine of us to have punk blood not even my sisters don't get it twisted so you walk with the creator and whatever's going to happen to you is going to happen to you Everybody days are numbered. You just don't know when it's going to happen. So get your house in order. Okay? Okay? You know how many times they told me that I needed security? I looked at them and said, okay, I'm good. When it's your time to go, you go. That's just what it is. 
You can look back at me 50 years when I'm gone and say, look, that was my pop. My children can look at me and say, that was my dad right there. Mm -hmm. That was my father. Let's move forward. Undercover or above cover. That doesn't make no sense for the billions of dollars that we pour into a black church every single. You're not getting it. They just gave him six hundred something thousand dollars. He couldn't take the boards off the goddamn window in the school. He got six hundred thousand dollars that you can take twenty or ten thousand and get windows in a school and a board taken off that window yet not yet you ever see they're talking about a roast this is roasting him real rap this is roasting him to tell you the truth y'all hear a comedy roast this is a roast all i'm saying is you know what's up with me it's bigger than hip-hop i ain't even talk about hip-hop i'm hip-hop anyway hip when you hip to something, you hop out on what you know. Let's make that clear. When you hip to something, you hop out on what you know. Everything you do is hip hop. Everything you do is hip hop. When you hip to it, you hop out on it. That's it. Let's move forward. Is everybody all right? I see y'all keep typing. Y'all can come on the feed. Okay, let's go. Monday every single year that got to change black organizations you cannot have a public event and you don't have people there to secure the lives of our people i have security at every event there's women and children and elders we got to be down and black men you have a responsibility to be armed at every event you go to because you are automatically de facto security listen to me black man since we claim to be alpha, we want to be respected as... Stop. Let me tell you something. None of them niggas that you run around seeing talking about them Black Panthers, and this is not a knock on the Black Panthers. I'm going to be real with you. You ain't going to take them bullets. Now, I'm going to be real with you. Let me tell you something. Can I tell you a little story? You know, you ever, you ever see the security in the Nation of Islam? I was just going to say F-O-Y, bro. Have you ever and really... Not, not compete. Listen, we're not talking about the ones y'all see every day. Mm -hmm. I know them. I know those brothers in the nation that will fucking take bullets, and you better be ready because I'm gonna tell you something. I ain't gonna tell everything about, but goddamn, Damn, we was ready. Let me tell you something. <laughs> these are the what these niggas that y'all be having on these stages. That's all somebody gotta do is shoot up in the air, and them niggas gonna bust. They gonna run. I'm gonna be a buck with you. I'm being real with you. Don't black them dudes. Pop, pop, pop. Niggas gonna start running. You know why? Because you don't want to get a head shot. You see the discipline yet, y'all? I've been around the real brothers in the nation of Islam, not the ones y'all see on the outskirts. It's so much deeper than what y'all think it is. And them brothers be like, Sabir, we got you. Every time I'm in Chicago, they call me and say, brother, we got you. You good? We got you. I don't make the phone call. I, I can hit brother Ishmael on the hotline. I can hit brother Elijah Farrakhan on the hotline. Oh, you follow me. This is real talk, but I don't do that. I don't walk in fear. And anybody ever saw me in Chicago, you saw me walk past these brothers in Chicago building with these brothers. I don't walk with fear, man. I can't walk with fear. I've been hit up too many goddamn times to be fearing somebody. This shit is insane. But we sit up here and talk about you got to have security at these events. For what, Negro? You're not, you got Karis One don't even walk around with security. He don't even do it. Most people don't. Most devs don't do it. Most of these people don't do that. They don't walk with security. That's that. Come on, B. You ain't Minister Farrakhan. But niggas, we wanting to be. They want these titles, man. They want these titles. Right. Some brothers don't even carry a knife. Let me tell you something. You, <laughs> I can't tell, but uh, <laughs> not my business to tell. But anywho, that's too much information for y'all. <laughs> right. So. What's up, brother? How you feeling? Regal. Hey, hey, peace and grace to the family out there. Uh, I just happened to be on YouTube and I came across your channel. So, um, you know, I believe that obviously the 12 tribes of Israel are Negroes. I do preach on corners that we are the biblical Jews and Israelites. That's and cool. just, I mean, concerning humility, uh, brother, I really don't know what Omar Johnson is really about. I know I've heard of some of the things that the brother's trying to accomplish or do, but Maybe you brothers can further enlighten me on uh, what he's trying to do, or at least what he's trying to portray himself doing. 
Well, I, you know, hold on one second, bro. I got to start my Instagram over. I don't know what he's trying to do anymore. I'm going to be real. He, he he had he was trying to open up a school. Um, I don't know if you have a business. Hold up. Give me one second. I've got to set my Instagram back up. Um, he was trying to build a school, but it don't take three to four to five years to build a, a school. You know what I mean? And you cannot hold a school. Or, and maybe I'm wrong. You cannot pay a salary or for donations. You can't pay a salary because a lot of things play a part inside that he got six hundred thousand dollars from the people to open up a school, six hundred thousand. And what I was saying is that you don't need that much. You don't need a big building. You can have one building and then start from there. If you got six hundred thousand dollars, you can make you can do wonders with six hundred thousand dollars. I mean, I'm just saying he had six, but he got more money after that. So his whole thing was talking about raising black boys. You follow me or raising young men. He ain't talked to not one young dude on the street yet. Nobody sees this brother in Philly. I, I just said about some, I think uh, Atlas just posted up. It was over 190 something murders this year with our people, young brothers. You follow me? I see my son got killed. It was over 300 murders in Philly, right? That was a year and a half ago. So where have he been raising or talking, like you said, on the corner? talking to these young brothers i'm pretty sure if i look you up i can probably find you on the corner somewhere talking to them Where you know what's interesting brother is i don't have any videos on my channel right but ever since i found out we were israelites so i'm in minneapolis minnesota i preach on nicolette and knife street everybody in the whole state knows i'm a hebrew israelite jewish people up here know it uh the somalians know it and um I, and when i first started preaching i have to be honest like i pray i preached a pretty harsh doctrine Everybody couldn't make it according to what I was preaching initially. And I haven't seen enough evidence in the Bible where I could teach somebody other than the biblical Jews. Negroes are going to make it in sincerity. I just have a more polite and uh, peaceful way of telling the truth as opposed to me. Just if you're not of the if, if you don't fit the curses of Deuteronomy and you're not called Nagar like um, Barnabas and Simeon in the book of Acts. I used to give you Revelation chapter 13 verses 9 and 10 and tell you to have a good day. But now, now I'm a little bit more reasonable when I preach on the corners. I don't lie to nobody about what it says, Ock, but I'm not as I'm not as mean as I used to be. I will say that. But pretty but much the whole state knows we the bruise. It's, it's called you mature, brother, and that's what it is. Right. All it really is it's like you mature at at some point. You mature in your teachings, you know. And and I think everybody go through that. Umar is in his mid 40s, so this dude should know better. You follow me? It's like, right. but I'm going to show you something. Bear with me. I'm going to show you since you brought that up. I'm going to share something with you real fast since you brought that up. Give me one minute. I'm going to show you a photo from 1920s. Bear with me. That's in 1920. Is, is that Zion brother from the commandment keepers? You see that? He's a Moor. Moor Science Temple. Right. So, that's powerful. So I'm going to show you another one. Bear with me. Here's another one. These are photos from 1920. Moore's Zionist Temple of Jews. Mm. That's in 1920s. 1920s. So we're still Moors no matter where. I'm in the Jewish quarters right now. But I actually take you. You ever see the mosque out here in Spain? No, there is a library that I want to visit that was established in 17. Uh, I think it was established sometime in the 1700s. I've never been to Spain, but there's a library there that I do want to investigate some things. Here you go right here. I'm going to take you to this is the Jewish quarters where the Muslims and Jews lived at. Bear with me. I'm, I'm on the balcony. That's look up the Mosquita. Look up the mosque or the Mosquita in Cordoba, Spain. Wow. This is the oldest this is the this was the largest and this is actually in the jewish quarters out here but i'm gonna show you something in the window out here bear with me i'm gonna show you something in the window in one second and this is where i'm at at the moment i've been out here a couple of times that's the most right the mosque so i'm going to show you something and I did this before. So once you understand the history and also, give me one second.
because there's a book that I have it's called the, the Jews of Morocco, and it speaks about the Moorish Jews, right? But I'm going to show you this one right here. Now, this is outside. Give me one second. Damn, where's it at? Oh, here it is. That's the outside. You see what's in the window? You see that what you would call a SWAT sticker? Right. That's outside what I just showed you. This is the wow. Jewish quarter. See, people in the States, because of what media does, they have to... Malcolm used to say, the media can make you love your oppressor and hate the oppressed. And this is what they're doing. I this agree with my concern in that. This is this is the what the media has been doing. So what I was doing is that I travel to these places. I don't take people's, you know, on um, word for face value. I'm going to go find out. Yo, let me see. So when brother RC, he's overseas. He's over in the Middle East a lot. I don't like to say the Middle East, but you know what I'm talking about. So we are the original Arabs. When you talk to these people. And you travel. This book is crazy, bro. It talks about us in the United States, bro. It's like how we are the original Arabs. And, it, and this dude, I do and he has that to too. I've heard some other Moorish brothers um, teach me about how the original Arabs were a Negro phenotype people, how they were yes. black people. Right. He's telling, he got footnotes in his whole book. And he said it was crazy. And you know what this man did? He went underground, bro. He did this because this type of information, bro, I'm going to be real with you. It's a it's a problem to black people. It's not to these Europeans. It's to the so-called black people because once you tell us, it's like that syndrome of Malcolm X um, came back and he woke up. Malcolm was like, yo, they didn't like that. But it wasn't everybody in the nation. It was a few people. Right. When people have been trained for so long and you bring information to them, what happens, you become a problem. It's just like what's happening with us. That's why I don't deal with people in the States. I stay away from them. I stay sucker free. But everybody keeps saying, I will debate you, Sabir. I will debate you. Baby, debate me on what? What are you going to debate me on? Like, seriously, what are, you, what are you trying to debate me on? Because you have to show some sources if you want to debate me. And you can't get your sources off of social media. What right. You got to go and do the work. Travel like you've been doing. How you just showed us where you are in Spain. Brother, that's amazing, man. I mean, that's I ain't got to do this. That's why the sister said, Sabir, you give people a million dollar worth of game. This is, and I, and, and dude, like, I'm not even finished yet, bro. I was in Portugal. I even went to the Moorish Castle in Portugal just to show people this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, literally standing in Portugal, walked up this mountain, and I'm going to show y'all so you can do your research on this, right? All the way from Mexico, all the way over, and then going up into Turkey, Right? So when you go to these places and you talk with these people, believe me, bro, they're going to open up because they do want you to wake up too. some of them, because some people don't because it's a power thing, you know, and it's our people also. So bear with me. I'm going to show you something else. Give me one second. I'm looking for something in one minute. Here you go. So this is in Portugal. You can look this up also. This is in Portugal. Castelo dos Moros. That's the Moorish Castle in Portugal wow go look this up right and see the height of this place and i walked up to this place i foot it up there and when you go up here brother and you see this the air is so fresh and i'm like yo our history is richer than slavery man it's richer than slavery but if you listen to the media you ain't gonna get it you have listened to these pro-black conscious black people who want to argue and talk about white supremacy you're not going to get it either. You're not going to get it because what happens is going to shake the foundation in what they're teaching. He's, he's no different than a church, bro. They're no different than a church. Look it up, y'all. Castello dos Muros. It's And it's a beautiful place. It's a whole history behind that. And I walked there. What you doing? Looking it up, RC? Nah. Mm, but I know. RC, you already know about it, though. That's why. Mm. But when you when you when you look these things up, bro, it will open you up so so much, bro. That's why I can go toe to toe with them and be like, "Nah, dude, this is who we are. <laughs> no, nah, this is who we are. This is what we did." And they be like, "Shit, this nigga woke." You see right. what I'm saying? It's crazy. My third, my third great great father was kidnapped from West Africa. 
Every come on, man. People get kidnapped all day. Why people keep talking about that? People get kidnapped. I wanted to ask you a question, beloved brother. Sure. Um, is it because I'm, if I'm not mistaken, was California named after a black uh, woman that was a caliphate? Yup, it wasn't a black. Excuse, I don't like to use the word black, but yes, it's called Khalifa. Understandable, right? Understandable. You're not wanting to use the word black. I, I certainly yeah. understand that. What I also wanted to ask, right? Is Mexico in some ways like the original Mauritania? I don't know about that being the original Mauritania, but it's part of the United States. It's all America. It's all right. of America. All of it. But people, but you got to look at a map though, fam. Look at, hold on a second. Hey, whoever this is on Instagram, please come over to my YouTube channel. Hit the YouTube channel. Give me one second, fam. I'm, I'm multi Right. That's the name right there. They just posted it. Yeah. Yeah. Lisa. That's you a system. You know you can have an almond. You have a um, almond milk and soy milk called Khalifa now, and she's on there. Look at the almond milk and the soy milk. But hold on one second. Let me put this up here. Give me one second, fam. Come to my, come to my YouTube channel. Give me one second, brother. I'm on Instagram. Hey, peace and grace, brothers. I got to go clock in at the job, man. But this was very edifying. I'm certainly gonna subscribe to your channel, uh, Good Kings, and uh, I'm gonna catch y'all a little bit later. Yo, I appreciate you, family. All right. Peace, Peace and grace, brothers and sisters. Peace. So give me one second. Um, hit the hit this link right here on YouTube. Sabir Bay YouTube channel. And subscribe, like, and share. That slavery ish is a joke. Yes, it is, sister. It's a straight joke, B. That's a <laughs> yo. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You want to see something else? Y'all want to see something, RC? Check it out, RC. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord and Jesus, take the wheel. There's the eyes. Uh, yo, that's wild. Ghetto, dude. You know, that is gospel because just because hey, is expect the unexpected with Sabir. Because I got some, I got you know, I'll pull out some ammo on a nigga, boy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll pull out some ammo on these, motherfuckers. this is crazy. Umari. So, that one he ain't no nah, he ain't gonna touch that one right there it's too much like right it's too much like you can't he don't want to touch that because he can't blame nobody so i've been on here for two hours you mean to tell me umar missed the video <laughs> slavery happened but not nearly as multitude purported listen everybody suffers slavery every nation if you study ethiopia if you have ethiopians on here study the ending of slavery in Ethiopia. Study the ending of slavery in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Come on my YouTube, babe. You keep trying to come on my Instagram. If I don't know you, hit the Instagram, hit the YouTube channel. Come hey. to Sabir Bay's YouTube channel. It's another book, um, The Forgotten Slave Trade by Simon Webb. I think that's Webb with two Bs on it. That's another one, you know, and it talks about a lot about the Moors, but you know, that conversation about slavery, if you're not really talking about you know, the slavery that existed, you know, during, you know, in North Africa and around the Caspian Sea region, then you really don't understand, you know, what slavery was. You ever seen that movie, um, Trading Places? I think it got Eddie, Eddie Murphy, hell yeah. Right. So, so when we had the conversation about slavery, you know, it's basically like the movie Trading Places. We were the ones who were enslaving Europeans, you yes. know, and then it switched, you know, but they don't talk about that. You know, we enslaved them not for no 400 years. We enslaved them for almost a millennia, you know, if not more. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Shoot. You you think somebody going to come back and teach you? Shoot. Right. Oh. my brother? You think they're going to come back and teach you any of this, man? No, nah, dude. They say if a man don't treat you right, he damn sure ain't going to teach you right. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that again. If a man don't treat you right, he damn sure ain't going to teach you right. So this is a book that I got when I was out in Spain. Look at those brothers in the desert. That's the Sahara Desert. They look like Arabs to me, don't they? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. They damn sure look like Arabs to me, don't they? Hey, bro, you know something that I also find fascinating about, you know, that, that quote unquote, you know, Arabs, right? So, you know, in America, you know, the, the term black. They classify anybody who has, you know, what was it, one drop 
one drop of black blood makes you black. But it's over there. If you have any Afri uh, Arab ancestry, you're considered an Arab. And as we already know from Tariq Berry, <laughs> you know, the, the so-called Arab peoples, you know, went all over the continent. So that would make the entire continent full of Arabs. That's true. But the thing about it, though, it has nothing to do with the complexion of a person. Not at all. Not at all. That's yeah. why, even if you go in some places, I think it's a place in India or it's off the coast of India. I think it's the, uh, the Adamant Islands or even the Solomon Islands. And, you know, they got people who are like dark skin. I'm talking about like Sudanese complexion, you know, but they're not African, though. They're pure Asians. But exactly. we, would, we would consider them to be so, quote unquote, black. So that's why I said when we even start talking about the word, you know, black, African, all these things are misnomers. They really don't talk about, you know, ethnicity or pedigree or who we really are as a people. But this is my thing, though. Just imagine, honestly. Just imagine. If we had a real, real sit down conversation on this and mm -hmm. we lay everything out and everybody get out their feelings and straighten this out. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Just think about it. Yes, he's sharp. Yes, RC is sharp because you know why he travels. He talks to people. And when you talk to people, you learn something instead of arguing with somebody. Maybe these conscious cats need to do that. You can't talk to somebody who's locked into that colonized mind. And if you think I'm lying, they do. I had to admit it a couple of times when I came over here, I had a colonized mind. The problem is Umar Johnson's not admitting that he has a colonized mind. And that's that's the problem that's dangerous, B. He never left the colony. Never left. He never left it. He never left it. But to him to sit up here and talk about the FBI and Homeland Security is not um, watching white supremacy groups yes they are that's a lie they are watching white supremacy groups the problem is with fbi they just wait till they get something concrete on you that's all they doing but for him to put that out there to say that they're not watching them they are watching them it ain't about no complexion with these cats b they watching everything and everybody they don't got a propaganda campaign that's what he no, should no he, i don't know if they do it don't i don't know if they do it don't Huh? Umar wants to see the propaganda campaign. Yes, he does because he makes money off of that. He has to tell you to donate to his invisible school. You follow me? And that's what's going on. Don't get mad at me. Peace, Evergreen. You there? Peace, I'm here. What's going on, brother? How are you? Listen, RC, let me ask you a question. Did I sit up here and say I want to debate anybody on here? Do everybody keep saying they try to debate me? Did I say I've never I heard you say? I've, I've in in the at least years that I've been listening to you, year and a half I've listened to you. I've never heard you say that you want to debate anyone. I've only heard you say if a debate presents itself. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but if a debate presents itself, uh, 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 and put your money up essentially, and let's discuss things. I've never heard you say that you're out no. looking for anything. I've, I've never I've never heard you say that at all. So we can nip that in the bud. But this is the problem because people hear what they want to hear. I say I will have a discussion with your attorneys, your politicians. I would. That's not a right. debate. So it's not a debate right. by me talking about exposing these people for what they're doing. That's not a debate. You know what I mean? That's me saying, you know, it's wrong and y'all fall for it. I've been on it for two hours and 18 minutes wasting I'm over 18 minutes of my time waiting for Umar to come on. So it's not about a debate because if I debate him or anybody else, it'd be child abuse. I'm just being real with you. It would be child abuse. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate that you, you have to, uh, you know, deal with minorities in that regard. It's sad, so man. That, 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 you know, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard. I, I actually got into a... a uh, an argument earlier today, unfortunately, with, with one of my cousins, um, who while I was speaking to my mother, she had me on speakerphone. My cousin felt obligated to to jump in and kind of butt into my conversation. I'm essentially explaining to my, my, my mother that, you know, my son came home from school and he got upset uh, because, you know, the in his words, the, the white boys can get away with things that the black boys can't. 
So I'm 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 in the process of trying to nip this level of John D. Rockefeller education out of the bud. So I decided to get some uh, 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 some consult from my mom, and she didn't know what to say. But my cousin felt the need to try to over uh, uh, exacerbate this idea of being black, the pro blackness <laughs> stuff. And it's to a point where now it's like, well, damn, I don't even want to take my kids over to my family house. You know what I mean? I, I thought it was, I thought it was so easy to, you know, disassociate myself with, you know, people that I deal with in a social media aspect. Like, you know, okay, we can easily bang on these people, you know, hang the phone up or or disconnect. But this is family, and it's like if you you feel that much disdain for what you think you're gonna your, your kids are gonna be taught, you know, it's it's a scary thing. So, you know, I got I got led with a with a harsh truth. Uh, mm. Um, you know, a, a everybody can't get saved. And even what Drew Ali said, everyone's not going to get saved at the same time. Not you know, enough. So it's, 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 it's unfortunate that I'm, I'm, you know, that we're in situations where we got to disassociate ourselves with the people that we love mm -hmm. the most truly, mm -hmm. nearly and dearly to our hearts because they they want to uh, 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 continue to associate themselves with these brands of Negroes, Blacks, and Coloreds, and it's like a it's like a, a um it's like a willing it's like a willingness for apartheid, you know. The, yeah. These people are so willing. Our people are so willing to to separate themselves from from a legitimate nation, to separate themselves from humanity, um, from basic logic, from basic science from basic etymology, from basic law, and continue to call themselves crayon colors, to continue to call themselves, uh, 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 you know, crayon it's so colors. weird. Like, I, I, I play a game called the, um, um, the, 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 the crayon box, right, where I pull the crayon out of the, out of the box, and I ask the people, whoever's on a live, to say, you know, hey, I'm going to pull the color yellow out of the box, here in the U.S., what what color or what people do we associate the color yellow with? Oh, black, brother. And everybody will, everybody will tell you yellow. And then we'll put it back. Oh. And I'll say, have you ever heard of a yellow person actually calling himself yellow? And they'll tell you no. <laughs> you know you know what the funny I'll thing is? That, yeah. I want me to cut you with You know when I was getting the test to come over overseas, um, I asked the lady that question. I said, do you call Asian people yellow people? She said no. I'll be this. She said, she said, that'd be disrespectful. And I said this, I said, well, why do black people call themselves black? It was funny as hell. I swear, RC, it was hilarious. I was, <laughs> no, you used to call somebody black back in the day. You get punched in the mouth. Yeah, but I was literally, it was, it was weird because I can show you the paperwork. I got all my paperwork, all the receipts. So I put that in white. It was funny as hell. I put white on a piece of paper. I swear to God, it was so freaking funny, dude. Like, See, but look, if, asked, if you, Huh? if you if you if you're if you're dealing with it in if you're dealing with it in law you you are the white i know that but it right? had nothing to do with complexion and i literally i'm at the right the testing site school and the sisters at the testing site no lie no lie this is the this is i do this when i was in morocco just now i was there teaching bro i'm literally i everywhere i've gone from malika to Cordoba, where i'm at now when I was in Granada, when I was in Toledo, like I'm literally pulling people and having them follow me on YouTube and Facebook. I probably got, if you look at the, um, what they call that, John RC, Which demographics, one? whatever, it's more people over here in other countries that follow me. I don't know if y'all know that or not. Go watch it. Mm -hmm. It's more people over here. Our people don't want this type of conversation because it's not the pro black conversation or the white supremacy conversation, which is a foolish movement because nobody's superior over me right peace king peace brother what's going on uh and maintaining you know i just before anything i like to say i appreciate what you're doing and i appreciate how all the brothers on here is just getting together just to have this conversation because this is the thing we need the dialogue we need just to yeah. share information and stay positive and you know i'm just hoping that everybody here listening with everything going on man people are trying to separate us you know what I mean? They keep us arguing over issues that don't yep. matter. White yep. and black arguments don't matter. That this racism, none of that matters. It's all about money. It's all about ownership. 
And you, if you want to be heard, if you want to make something happen, you have to have ownership within this system. Some, you know what I mean? That's what they respect. Oh, and we got to get to the point where we got to start talking on these guys that's doing these speeches because that's what happens. These, you know, I don't want to say white, but just say conversation, these white people that go and make these speeches that preach this type of ideology. And then you got these so-called Democrats, these Al Sharpens and Ben Crumps who come and they, these people get paid hundreds of thousands, oh, $500,000 to speak dumb non facts in the, in the, in a lot of the public eat it up and vote on that. Yo, I didn't know they was getting that kind of money, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. I said it was yo, somebody's child got killed, and I think Al wanted a hundred and something thousand to come. I said, nigga, I'm in the wrong game. I swear to God, I'm in the wrong field, my nigga. What he got that I ain't got because I can tell y'all how this go. I was in the wrong <laughs> field, man. They told me, you, man, you know, researchers get I, like eighty thousand dollars too to do research. Yeah, eighty a lot of money. I'm doing free research for y'all every day. I swear to God, I'm live every day. <laughs> yeah. You see all those SIM cards behind my phone, bro? Because I keep forgetting <laughs> the PIN number for different countries. Like these are SIMs that I'm literally live with y'all. And I and my sister just like I said earlier told me she said, Sabir, you give people a million dollars worth of game. I mm -hmm. listen, for real, ain't no one else is doing it like this. And I'm fighting my people, brother. I'm not fighting the European. I'm fighting my people about this and phil Valentine warned me about this phil said this i swear to god and king simon is on here phil Valentine said to me in brooklyn new york let me tell you what he said my brother king simon is on here right phil said you are the ambassador of the moors this is what he said he said cross your t's and dot your eyes because they're going to come at you he didn't say the white man he said our people's going to come at you mm -hmm. i remember that lecture a couple of years ago that king simon had phil at that museum i think it was a library museum whatever it's in brooklyn i do know that and phil valentine pulled me to the front and i told phil i don't want that title if anybody talked to phil asked him i said i don't want that title brother i don't want it i don't want yeah, it. Man, I, I i would definitely you know, say like you know we and I, I don't want to say we like everybody else supposed to but i know me in coming with a challenge that i have to stop financially supporting the nba and i'm not saying that the discrep i'm just saying we're paying all these people lots of money to be entertained. We're paying all this money to hear people speak. We don't pay nurses that. We don't pay law enforcement that. We don't pay military, none of that type of money that we're paying people to either entertain Ooh. us or to talk Ooh. rhetoric. We're not paying them that type of money. Say it again, and bro, it, like, for real. And Damn, it's man. sad because it's like, we, we expect people to, we call it, we expect people to hold these roles of leadership and responsibility, but we're paying the king jesters and fools a king ransom and paying the important people nothing, bro. That's why I said I'm, I'm, I'm dude. You, they can't pit me. I'm, I'm fine. I'm stepping back for a minute. I'm gonna score. Re like I said, I'm recording everything while I'm out here. I do give y'all some stuff live. I'm great. Go take you to Abdul Rahman's statue. The brother Abdul the first, and then his son Abdul the second. I think it was. This is his statue right there. Abdul is the one who built the mosque. I just showed y'all. And then his son. Yeah, this is Abdul the first. And this is Abdul the second. His the plaques is like right outside, and I'm gonna go to. They built that mosque I just showed everybody. That's the second Abdul Rahman. He has a, and if you have my Instagram, I'll go outside and show you his plaque with his name on it, right outside. So again, everything happened in 1492. After 1492 everything happened spain was not spain until 1492 so what i'm gonna do y'all is give y'all my email and um get off here so i can get out i got my second one it's eight o'clock now i gotta get outside so my knowledge versus at gmail.com for any kind of booking speakings one-on-ones the knowledge versus at gmail.com please check out the website sabir bay merchandise.squarespace.com again sabirbaymerchandise.squarespace.com hit the email up share the videos out brother thank you for getting on here i thank y'all so much but don't go to it yet i gotta close out i've been on it for two and a half hours <laughs> hurry up because it's eight o'clock over here but everybody on his feed is a miracle b thank you for joining me my brother all right peace all right. king all right no doubt peace, peace. support definitely definitely let's go 
to America, B. G. Simone Parker, KRS One's wife. She had a video out. Listen, go to my website right there, SabirBayMerchandise.Squarespace.com. You can actually get the video that I did with Karis One and James Smalls. You don't have to wait for it. You can just pay for it. Oh, that's cool. You don't have to wait for it. You can just pay for it, and you can get the video. Karis One, James Smalls. It just happened in February for so-called Black History Month. Check out the website, y'all, SabirBayMerchandise.Squarespace.com. Email me at knowledgeversus at gmail.com. Join the mailing list. Support at Cash App Dollar Sign Sabir Bay, Zelly Sabir Bay, Radio at gmail.com. It's all there. All right. I appreciate y'all so much, man. I gotta go. You are the miracle. I'm Audi. Gotta go. The listener, you to do more, be more, finish your projects, have more confidence in your in the original sound. You ready? I gotta close yeah. out. We gotta do this for y'all. You I wanna hear the teacher? Deeply. You wanna hear the teacher? Let's go, Chris. I thank y'all so much. What well, KRS is speaking and teaching is too hot. People asking KRS and you stone because you rock. We just got the rock. Two pop, two shots, a double blast like two flops. I don't stop. I'm on top. I will flow. I don't drop, but I will drop. And I was getting off the block. Hunt off the dots. These dudes, they talk a lot. They don't walk a lot. They often call the cop. So I'm spitting what I'm spitting while I'm spitting here and spitting. I always bring the heat for some of y'all to say the minute. I can get to the future and back to the beginning. I keep the boom back. Who's that? The one who's winning and grinning. DJ and B boys are spinning. Listen to the mission, man. You must have a vision. It's my philosophy for society. I am spitting. It's only knowledge, man. It's a dream. I am fulfilling. You don't know what hip hop is, bitch. Let's go. Brand new.
two years ago. Anybody really want to get this thing together? I don't know. I think some people want to be slaving forever. Because every time the opportunity come up, I feed them. People acting and reacting, acting like it just don't need them. Now, everybody ain't going to understand what I'm coming with. Most of y'all will hear it and fear it like on some other shit. But I'm only speaking to people I run the gutter with. Revolutionaries and scholars and study government. We ain't got no time for no petty crime. We above that shit. What I'm coming with is my hip hop if you in love with it. Breaking the fear, graffiti, writing, DJs cutting it. This is what we bow to preserve. No, not that other shit, but DJs getting sloppy. Rappers getting copy up. Surveillance on top of ya, no longer a shock to ya. This television lost to ya, media's a mafia. That's why ignorance and belligerence is so popular. I'm the fifth element. Knowledge. 